One minute again, and we'll be having our man Jammers with us. Franklin Joseph John Baptist, better known as Jammers, aka Jammers. And imagine the entire port is on listening to DBS radio at this time um, because we are going to have Jammers, uh, a popular guy um, from the port, a popular guy. Um, on the road you know a guy with his own opinion but tonight he's not coming here to talk about opinion he's coming here to talk about his life uh, um adams yeah i know the man in fact the, he'll mention the name cedrak ma cedrak I, I know him very well i know his mother as well and i rose. know rose 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 sweet yes. rose sweet rose and and you know what well, is rose that that rose was either black or red what she color? was black she was black. A black rose. She wasn't a red rose. With a heavy bumper. <laughs> I knew her very well. Well, I knew her better than you. I doubt. You doubt? Rose Rose was almost my neighbor. I, I lived in Bath Estate. Rose uh -huh. lived in Bath Estate. Uh -huh. Rose lived on the southern side of where I live, which is more north. Um, just one lane. I live in Balata. She lived in Lime Street. Okay. Well, Le Rose lived in Church Lane as a young woman. But you know, you you lived on uh, Stiba Street, Stiba Street uh, which is lower down. Guys in Stiba Street that mm -hmm. wasn't going up. Uh, church no Lane. man, I used to pass through the track, man. Go by Cedric, bathe in the big bath. Uh huh. Stay with my Cedric. Mm -hmm. Eat my tablet. Mm -hmm. Eat my fashion. My Buddha. Oh, my oh, hold, hold on. When you say eat your tablet, you have to be very clear those days. You're talking about cocoa tablet. My coconut tablet. No, so, no, not coconut tablet. There's a difference between your cocoa tablet and your coconut tablet. Well, I had my coconut tablet. So you wasn't eating cocoa tablet then? Uh, well, so, I, so you're cutting your coconut and you're putting sugar in it? That, that's, that's, that's what I, you're talking I about? Had, I had that as well. But, but listen, man, you have to make the dif differentiation. There is a there's cocoa tablet and there is coconut tablet. But I had both of them. You had both of them. Which one you preferred? I like both of them. Just the same. Cutting your coconut... Putting sugar in and it. Putting sugar in it. And eating and just it. just eating it. And then having it. Um, I, I want to find out if Jamas had that himself, you know. Right. And not only that, um, she also made a tablet siwo. Tablet siwo. Mm -hmm. um, so Jamas will tell you all about that. So yes. I knew I knew Rose long before you. So you knew black rose, not red rose. Black rose I knew. And, and you, you have a red rose, right? No. no black. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, boy. boy, I telling you. Uh -huh. And she had bumper. Yes. My goodness me. And his and, mother. And, and Rose had a funny voice. Very funny voice. Yes. Yeah, and you're so right. You, you 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 couldn't you anytime you hear Rose speak, you have to know it's Rose. Right, it's Rose. Because her voice was distinct. distinct. Just to her. Just to her. Yeah. And not only I knew his father as well, the great Pete Boudin. Pete Boudin from Pottersville. From Pottersville, a fisherman. Mm -hmm. so and a man also on the port. Yeah, he worked on the port. So Jamas have to tell us all about mm -hmm. Rose. Pete Boudé and the life of him. And he must tell us about Ma Cedrak and, and Mr. Cedrak and Chinky and Second. Boy, I want to know about that too tonight mm -hmm. because we're talking about the Laku. Yeah, we're talking about the Laku. Mm -hmm. So oh, the, the show is his own, not mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening to you, Jammers. Good evening to you, Cecil Joseph. Good evening to the brain. This is the man himself, better known as Jammers. Uh, Jammers, you need to get closer to the mic for us. I find you uh, not hearing you loud enough. Yeah, what say you? All right, all right, Jammers, you 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 are very much closer to the mic, and I'm happy. Jammers, how do you feel in the studios of DBS Radio tonight? Well, it is my third time coming to DBS Radio. My first time I come in, I come in for that in the Frampton. As many years ago? Yes, Kimara Ito. And tonight with the big man himself, Cecil Joseph. <laughs> 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 and you know, Jammers, I'm happy to have you, you know. Um, you raised in Bath Estate. Uh, and um, I also raised in Bath Estate. And so we know of each other quite a lot. So so tonight we're going to be talking about your life in the Laku. Um, Jamas, tell us first um, your full name. Although I said earlier on it is Franklin Joseph John Baptist, better known as Jamas. Yeah, I would like to tell you my name. My name is Franklin Joseph John Baptist. And I would like to tell my fans and them out there, I'm live at DBS Radio, Caribbean, international world. I'm here this evening with the man Brain. I know he have a lot of leaks for me, 
but I prepare myself for him. <laughs> I prepare for Brin. So hold on. Uh, is Brin a teacher in this in this class, in this setting? Is Brin a teacher? Because you say Brin has a lot of leaks for you. Yes, I know why, and he know why also. Well, I, I want to. This is not for radio. Yeah, but but you see, he <laughs> said he said earlier on you have, you have to tell him about some people. So I wonder if that leaks is talking that you're talking about. My grandparents. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll come to that in a while. So now, jammers. So you 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 have already said to us your name is Franklin Joseph John Baptist, aka Jammers. Yes. No, no. Tell me, why did you get that name, Jammers? If I give you the history of this name. I hope you'll understand that name. When I start to play football, especially from under 14, go up to Green Slave, I always thinking of jamming real hard. So I always want to jam, I jam, I jam. And my, my colleagues and them decide to call me jammers. And I was upset about it. I said, I do not want that name. But anyway, no matter what I try, I couldn't run away from the name. The name remained for me. And the, the name make wonders. So that's where I stand today with that name, Jammers. Well, most, most likely tonight I'm going to call you Jammers. I don't know if Bryn will call you Franklin. No. You call him what, Jammers? Jammers. Jammers. You can yeah. call me Galva also. Oh, yes. The, as a matter of fact, we used to call you Galva um, in the early days of Baba State. Is that correct? Yes. Right. So you had Galva first before you had... And tell me, why, why Galva? Well, I will tell you why. When, I, when my mother went at the Princess Margaret Hospital to deliver the man himself, Jammers, <laughs> Peter Bude was working in a Sagwini. And the Sagwini name was Galva Rio, some kind of name so. So they tell Peter Bude, Rosemute L'Hopital, Yale Fe Galva Bao. Alife <laughs> Galva <laughs> Yes. So when my father come, he say Rose to Galva. And from there they start to call me Galva from baby. And people who call me Galva is people who know me long, long time ago, raised with me at River Street. Because that's where I raised and Churchill in goodwill by my grandparents also. Because I know most persons used to call you Galva. Um and I don't know how Galva absent our mind and we started to call you Jammers. But but we used to call you quite a lot, um, the name Galva in Bafestit. So so you are right um, in terms of telling us that originally you were called Galva. So you prefer Galva over that of Jammers? I fear Galva is secretly and Jammers more open to the people that just get to know me. So majority of the people out there know me as Jammers. Okay, so Rose is your mother. Tell us um, a little bit about Rose, where she's from, you know. Cecil, I would like to know more about my mother because I do not know if she comes from Montreal or if she's born in Dominica unless my sister, Christabel, Christopher, could call, call in and correct me in case I'm making any mistake. But my grandparents come from Montreal, come down here to sell Irish potato and tomatoes. And my grand uncle, they decide to stay in Dominica. And that is where they bring forth all their children. So I go a long way in Monstrat and Monrachet. Because my daddy sell Peter Buddha is from Monrachet. So it's a lot a lot to talk about my family. So I more So so you, you said either Rose was born in Dominica or born in Monstrat. Yeah, I don't you, know. You, you're not so sure which one? No. But but you, you know that um, she came from the parenthood of mother and father from Monstrat. Yes. Now, while growing up, what what you find of Rose? What what fun, fun things or fun memories that you would have remembered of Rose? Well, my mother was so strict with us at that time. Even case... We have to go by the river, we have to ask permission. We cannot just go out to the river. If we go to school, we have to come back from school on time. If we go to church, that is where it's more difficult. When you come from church, Tiwe had mwe aso. Hold on, Jack Galba. You mean your mother told your mother told you so? Yes. When my mother told me that we Tiwe had mwe aso. 
Well, you couldn't sit down and have your breakfast because on this Sundays you have special breakfast. So hold on, before you go to the breakfast, what about what about the um, what about the the the, the cancer? <laughs> the, the, you still wear cancer only on Sundays, and you have to remove the cancer too. You have to remove everything. So persons who do not know what is cancer, it is underwear, underpants, yes. underpants. All right. So when when you came from church, my mother would say to me, "Tiwe." Had more asu yes. for next Sunday. For Lord Dimash. And uh, your cancer was included. Your socks was included. Your shoe was included. So Sunday clothes is your Sunday best. Yes, Galba? Yes, because when you come from church, you have to remove that clothes to come to the shodo. You have the kind of hot shodo with your omelette. Yes. And your, and your ginger, your ginger beer. I don't see them making the type of ginger beer we used to have when we come from church. And your kind of sorrel we used to have. Because these parents, they, they prepare this thing just for us when we come from church. And matter of fact, I, if people don't know, I belong to Coffee Gel. That's where I went to church. Make first come in at Coffee Gel. I come from there. And I stay there till... I, I don't even know when I leave Cafe Gel. Because <laughs> that was my place for service. Every Sunday, take your Holy Communion. Always love to go for Holy Communion. Take it in your hand and put it into your mouth. It was a very good time down there. Going up to church, from church. We, when, we, when, we come, when we go to church and they give us our little tie pens to give to, to the priest, we used to put it before. But I believe lady that sticky tablet on the side where Christy Station is. My Henry. Yes. We used to hold back that money. On Constitutional Hill. Yes, on Sundays we're going there to buy our sticky tablet. Hipney sticky tablet. Our parents get to know. So when you come home, they open your mouth and they see all the waka in your teeth. They beat you for spending the priest's money. It don't belongs to you, it belongs to the church. But when you say wakai, some persons might be wondering because that's our own term. Some persons who are out there listening might not know what is wakai. Tell us what is wakai. <laughs> the sticky <laughs> tablet. After you eat it, it stick up in your teeth. All the coconut, the pashi cocoa. That is what that remain in your teeth. So you couldn't take that away unless you've gone the pipe. You had your toothbrush, you brush it out. But we didn't have them days there because we couldn't tell lies. Because even though you tell lies, even though you talk the truth, your mouth is the, is the truth. You open your mouth. <laughs> and then they will take care of you. And you're not going out for the rest of the day, you know. You have to spend yourself inside. Friends will pass. You will stay in the wind and watch the road. I tell you, at River Street, it wasn't easy growing up at River Street, you know. Because the river next to us, that river caused a lot, a lot of havoc. Don't underestimate this river. Right now, you could cross the river with your long pants. But before, you couldn't cross that river with your long pants. The river cover your head. Not even your long pants. Not even your short pants. Yes, it cover in your head. From the, the old bridge, they call the Piscino Black Bridge, you could stay there and jump into the river. You cannot jump into the river from that bridge anymore. You couldn't go up to under power, neither Sikri and jump down now. You, we took all the Pangrove, all this to have big bass years. I don't think people understand what is bass years, but that's where we used to enjoy ourselves in the river. Ponds, we call them ponds. Yes, because we, we call it, we, we say bass, eh? but it, it was actually for people who be not, might be wondering why we're talking about bass. Eh? It's actually a pond of water. Yes. So, Cecil, it was very good raising up at River Street. River Street had a lot of mechanics. But before, of before you know, we, we're moving too fast. We're moving, we're moving really fast. Yes. So, we, we, we spoke about, we were speaking, speaking about Rose. Rose. And, and Rose um, eventually got you to go to church. By any chance, you were an acolyte? Never. Never? No, I never get the opportunity. Mm hmm because it seemed that in our days, it, to us, it had special people for Acolyte. Uh -huh. So we are just members. So, so let me ask you, did you ever lie with a partner who was an Acolyte? Never. Never had an altar boy as a friend? Never. So that means you never take the lost tea then? Yeah, well, we used to take our lost tea when we're ready to, when the priest ready <laughs> a certain time to give to us. But to say that we're going and people... I can remember a certain man at the back taking their thing and eat it, but the priests and them didn't know about these things. Because never try that? No, never. Never try that? 
Jammers? N- never. From River Street, you never tried that jammers? Never. Never go at the back of the church and try to take a little... I, I never crossed the altar. You never... <laughs> <laughs> that was a sacred place. Yes. And you have to be afraid to go there because when you see the red and white gong, you don't take chances to go at the back there. They tell you the priest will shake it on you? Yes. And at that time, it's not right now, children are not afraid of anything. In these days, those days there, talk about Laku, those days there, you have to prepare yourself. You cannot cross that border. Why should you go above where you do not have to go? You never go in, you never go in the priest yard to get fish? Yes, we still go and steal fish. Ah, I, I was, I, I, but if, if you don't take lusty, my brother, <laughs> if you do not take lusty, you must open that gate to go to the presbytery and take some fish. And even mangoes too. And well, you grafted. Lo- you, you mean you went right by the people kitchen to even get the grafted mango? Yes. We climb up tree and pick our mangoes and run back out. So that means you're not far from um, Bogard's um, house, no. you know? No, no, I know. You're a brave guy. <laughs> huh? Remember, it's after church, we do all these things, you know. So let me so let's talk about the fish and and the pond, fish and the pond. Tell me, tell me, when you leave sun, Sunday service, how you get into the yard and how you able to take the fish? Well, we open the gate. Remember, the gate always lock, you know. We open the gate and the, we go inside. The green gate, right? Yes, the green gate from the church. Green gate, yeah. We get inside the yard. We are having our thing, our little plastic, trying to hold the fish to take home. But the priest and them, the brothers, <laughs> they used to be behind us, but we never used to take what we want to take because the big the fish and them, the tadapiers and them, or they used to call them the red colored fishes. We we try our best to take them home, but if you take them home, your mother said you don't bring it back because you don't belong to the priest. You can't take what belongs to the priest and take it home. Take it back up there. What used to do if you when you steal it? We used to go back and bring it at church. We must go back and bring it. It's just fun, then. You're just having fun. Yeah. No, well, your parents don't want it at home because we took the big bottles from Coca Cola. Coca Cola had a big bottle to put water in it and marbles. And then we get our fishes, especially when Mr. Christian had his fishes at River Street also. When he flushed out his fish at River Street, we take our mother's trainer and pick it up in the gutter. And when we bring back this trainer, they beat us because we're taking trainer to pick up fish in the, in the, in the dirty gutter. So we go through a lot of things in our life. Mm-hmm. And what about getting close to the um, to the priest's kitchen and his laundry to climb up his grafted mango tree to get grafted mangoes? Well, we, I never reached to go by laundry area. <laughs> but I tell you, in the street, we used to go into the yard. It was a nice time for us. We used to pick up our... First of all, we used to go out here to climb the tree also. So what we meet, you know, we green one, it could be not matured, we used to eat it. We, we just take our mangoes and run back out. But they could do the priest and them seeing us, but they don't worry us in them days there. Which priest you, you, you were afraid of? Well, I wasn't afraid of any priest, but Father Charles... <laughs> Father Charles was serious, I would tell you. So we had to watch ourselves, and Mr. Bogard, he was aging already, so yes. he, he couldn't do anything with us. Mm-hmm. But Father Charles, for sure, I could remember. I cannot remember most... Of the priest that passed at the cafe jail, but Father Charles was well known at the cafe jail. And what about Bogard? You, you ever had any contact with um, Bishop Bogard? Well, the contact we had with Bishop Bogard is when he used to walk along the street. Every Sundays, Bogard take the opportunity to walk the street of Russo and pass in River Street and other streets, and we we call him, and we to feel nice because we seen the priest passing along the road. But otherwise, not anything. He didn't have any threat in those days. There, a priest could walk the road anytime he want. No, no. What about so we talk about ch- uh, church, school? What early school that you? What preschool did you go to? Well, in those days, there I don't think it had preschool. We went to the Russo Infant School, where they build that building opposite Karam, the apartment building, and. That is where we went to school. Uh, it had a head teacher from Pottersville. Miss Christian, that was her name? Yes, Miss Christian. Yes, I think that she was in charge of that school. That's where we went to school. And that is where we passed in the shortcut from Mano Black to pass to the Arak Cinema to go to Johnson Mosopi shortcut. Down by the bank, we have another shortcut again to go into River Street. We had a lot of that's shortcuts. Do, that's Donciad. Yes, Donciad, where mm-hmm. they build the National Bank. That's correct. 
Yes, we had all them shortcuts to go into River Street. Before we go to the shortcut, I, I want to talk about the shortcuts myself. The school, Roseau Mixing Fan School, would you remember your teachers and some of the boys that you would have gone to school with there? Well, Cecil, <laughs> it's so... I, I, I wouldn't be able to call names, but I can remember Philip well. Or the Philip John Baptist. I do not know where he's from, but... Philip John Baptist, is he the brother of Alan John Baptist and Wilfred John Baptist used to play steel pan? I'm not too sure, living, but... Living on Phil's Lane? He used to beat his eyes a lot. Yes, as Philip John Baptist himself. Yes. Uh, as he's the brother of Alan, deceased, and Pancho, deceased. All right. I Julian John Baptist, the fire chief former. I'm, I should say he's, uh, he has himself as past. He's in England. Well, I'm glad to, to, to know that he belongs to these family members, but I never know who was his family. So that means that you're living on Great Marlborough Street. Oh, he was living on Fields Lane. He Fields was my Lane. neighbor. He was living on 47 Fields Lane. I was living on 49. All right. I, I know that you're living somewhere Rosa also before you come up to Baffer State. Yes. But, Cecil, you are telling me about the Rose. Rose, my mother, take good care of 10 of us. I, on this, I, I am the sixth child of my mother. And I'm telling you, my mother and my father take good care of us. My father is a fisherman. My father do a lot of fishing. My father come from Monrachet and decided to dwell in Roseau. And you know them fishermen and the port workers. My father had a lot of ladies at the time because I have brothers that are older than and I have sister that young, plenty younger than me by my father's side and that brothers that I'm older also. So my father was just moving around. Whilst my queen was there, my, like my father wasn't belongs to anybody. That's how I, I seen it presently, the way they was living their life. And they didn't have any problem in those days. I, I, if it had jealousy, but at my age, I didn't see in jealousy in what was happening because they were taking care of all their ladies. And at the port at that time, they used to get all their goodies to take home when they had their light and their lunch, going out to the Saguenay to get back themselves to the small jetty where the ferry terminal was. So, you used to get your own now, so I'd get my little fire truck ready for my Christmas. I'd be winding my fire truck on the ground, speed it for it to move. Because before the toys reached the store, you could get a toy from the lighter because what damage is to take it home. So I can remember them days we used to go down there and sit down on the wall while his boat is working at night. Parents take you down there to see your father work on the bayfront where the ferry terminal located right now. It's called a jetty. Jetty. That a crane on that jetty. And the cargo, you could touch each and every cargo at that time. So it, it was a lot of work. They used to put it in net and crane it up, to go on the other side. On pallet. Yes, on pallet. Some of them used to be net, a strong kind of netting. They put it in it and they pull it up and they put it on the other side. I cannot really remember if where the custom located I, where Easter trading was. I think that is where the custom was. I, I, I think the, the custom was where the, um, the Dexia was, De Dexia is. It, it's somewhere yeah, Dex, Dex, it, where Dexia was. It had, yes, it Dexia had. was. You had, you had the, you had the, 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 the customs, and where the city council building is, you had the exiles and um, chief of customs. Yes. Um, office as well would have been, the office of 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 customs would have been where the, um, not the office of the mayor, but the building, um, of the Barakun, sorry, the Barakun Barakun building. building. That's where the the, the, the office was. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so we we was going all around these areas where the custom when you see the, the they take their cargo from the lighter and put it up to the to the jetty and they transport it on carts to go to the to the custom. It it was re very good in those days there that we could leave home at night to go down and sit and witness what Life is all about how they make money to feed their family. No, even at that time, um, Jammers, when, when um, that would have happened, because I too had that life that you had, because my adopted father, Philip Mann, was a portman together with Pity Bode, your father. And um, 
you would have seen your mother, especially when you work at nights, would carry you down on the bayfront just to v view how your fathers uh, or how the fathers was actually working. And you'd have seen quite a number of children on the, on the bayfront. That was a, like a, a in thing. They used to tell you they're bringing you for window shopping. Yes. And you end your window shopping by yeah. on the, on the, on the bayfront at that time. No, 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 Jamas, did you by any chance go on the lighter, especially when the gizboat is around, go on the lighter with your father's breakfast to bring it across to him on the gizboat? Yes, we still go on the lunch to take my father breakfast, but I didn't like it because I, I didn't really love water at that time, the deep water, but I didn't have a choice. I had to take the basket and take it to the lunch to, they tell me, battery man, let's go. And they take me towards the Saguenay. That was small. It have a little window where the cargo is coming out. They pull me up there. I go inside, spend time with my father. When the lighter is going back, I go back on the lunch and they put me back on the jetty. A lot of us <laughs> boys in Rose who fathers um, worked on the port. We had that experience. I had quite a lot of that myself. No, no, Jammers. So you have spoken about Rose and you have spoken about Pete Bude. Um, and early on we were talking about school and we spoke about church, but we were not through with school. I so know. from the Rosu Mixing Fan School, that's what we call it. Um, you, so you, you went from, to, from ABC class to the middle class or Miss middle Miss section. Christian? Middle section. Yes, that's how they used to call so it. You call, you went, so from so ABC to middle section. Yes. And from middle section, you went to Veranda. Veranda. Right. And from Veranda, we went to Rosa Girls School. To Rosa Girls School. So let's talk about, <laughs> about Rosa Girls School. Well, with the Rosa Girls School, when you hear Rosa Girls School, they think that it's just girls only. But with the Rosa Girls School, the boys mix with the girls. With the girls' school was a very good experience also. I can remember Miss Miss Shaw. Was the I cannot really recall the head teacher, but I think it's Miss Shaw. The that was the head teacher at the Rosa Girls School at that time. So we used to go there to the Rosa Girls School. We used to go into the Windsor Park. You remember the Windsor Park was the backyard of the Rosa Girls School. On the side of it we had a clinic. I, I don't know if you could remember the clinic that was on the side of the of the Rosa Girls School. Of course, Jammers. And Mr. Beachy was living next to the clinic. Yes, um, Beachy was living right next, at the back of the clinic. Yes. On the wall of the Windsor Park. Windsor Park. Right. Um, but at that time where the clinic was, let's talk a little bit about the clinic. Because we want to remind the young generation today um, exactly what our lives were like. Now, the clinic, you had the dentist there, you had the pharmacy there. Um, what else you had there? You also had the medical stores in, on the other side in that green building. Tell us a little bit because you live closer to the, to the, to the clinic in those days than, 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 than... And also you had the adult education. In, at the Rosa Girls School? No, on the other side. On the other Where side. The, the old hospital is. Was. Oh, okay. No, no, no jammers. So, so tell us a little bit about the clinic. I, I want to, to, to know of your experience in the clinic. Well, with the clinic, I do not have much experience unless our parents take us there to sit down to see the doctor when anything wrong with you because for us to go to the clinic, we used to get a lot of cuts by the riverside because we used to run without shoes. So anytime you get caught by the river under your foot with bottles or iron going to your foot or something, they take you to the clinic. You had benches there, you have to sit there and wait for your turn to see the, the nurse and then the nurse refer you to the doctor. And then it have a special spot that you go in and dress your foot. You, you, will you remember some of the doctors in there? No. <laughs> Dr. Pemberton, Dr. Winston? I, I, I uh, cannot really remember. Would you remember the doctors? Um, yeah, I, Dr. Pemberton. Mm -hmm. We had Dr. Winston. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also had Dr. Griffin. Dr. Griffin. Dr. Uh, Griffin, yes, yes. I can remember that name. Yes, yes for sure. Uh, what about the pharmacists? You, you, remember, you remember the guys who were the pharmacists in, in, in the hospital? You cannot, Jammers? Embert Stowe live in River Street. Embert Stowe had how many Embert girls Stowe, yeah. in River Street? <laughs> yes. How, uh, how are you name, forgetting that? The name and, Corbin. And, 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 and Sparks. And Sparks, Sparks, right. I mean, how could you forget that? I can remember Sparks and right. Embert Stowe. Embert uh -huh. Stowe, yeah, man. Embert Stowe was the pharma pharmacist for you. Right. Yeah. But how could you, how could you forget that? Remember, I'm getting old and now you're not But I'm but, but, but old too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have all my white here now. You know. I have plenty too. You can right, see mine, right? right, right. The memories... Sometime being there, sometime going. But as you mentioned, Embert Stowe, I know he was the pharmacist for years. 
And, and, o- and also you had the dentist, Dr. Ram Charan. Ram, Ram Charan. Yes. And you had... Uh, another, you, hold on, you, you remember Ram Charan? I couldn't remember these people there. Uh, Ram Charan, man. But I, I he, think he was an Indian. He yeah, come, Indian. He, he Ram Charan. Indian. Yeah, yeah. And, and he used to just wash your dad. And Dr. Sharanka. <laughs> and Dr. Sharanka. Yes, oh, an yeah. Indian. Uh, Dr. Sharanka was an well, Indian. No, German. A German? Kind of German? Yeah, man. White man. Oh, he was a white guy. That's, that's Ram yeah, Sharan yeah, was the yeah. Indian. Yeah, yeah. You're you correct. Um, uh, it's, it's just Germans are coming like you know, it seems. No, <laughs> man, I remember the yeah. doctors. Uh, no, Re- no. Remember Brim there long before us. Brim yeah. can remember a lot mm-hmm. of these things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he's an educator, so his brain always. You hear what they call him, the man, the brain? Mm-hmm. So he, most of these things talk in his brain. No, Rosa Girls School. Um, Troublesome. Were you? I always a quiet person, up to now. Didn't give the teachers any problem? Never. You didn't give Miss Miss Alexander any problem? No. You did not give Mr. Winston any problem? No problem at all. They always have me as a quiet boy in school. When, and you, went, when you went to Rosa Girls School, was Mr. Lennox Linton a teacher there in Free C? No. You were not, you, so no you even not, though he was a teacher there, I wouldn't know him at that time. At that time, okay. So you would not have remembered? No. Okay, so I remember those days you had Miss... Sharp Elwin, um, mm-hmm. I think Primrose Elwin. Primrose Elwin, yes, the yes. wife of Vincent Elwin. Vincent Elwin. I, I also remembered um, Miss Alexander from 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 M Zone. M Zone, yeah. yeah. Um, was she from yeah. Pottersville or yeah. side? You know, was she from Pottersville? Yeah, that's where yeah. I know her first. Yeah. Right, she was a Marie before. Miss Marie, <laughs> Miss Marie, but she's no, um, she's divorced now. Uh, okay, and then, then she was married to Percival Marie. Yes. And then you had also a, a, a teacher um, in a Free B. Um, Miss, I, I spoke of Miss Alexander. Um, in two, in two B, in two B there was Miss Elwin. In two A, there was um, Maroni's wife. Um, help me, Maroni. Um, um, you're talking about uh, uh, Flora. 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 Flora George. Miss George. Miss George. Miss George. Right. And. Um, then you, you had Miss Tavernier. You yes. Remember, you remember Miss Tavernier? Yes, from his Street. From his Street. 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 Yes. Slim. Slim lady. Yes, and like to run with her ruler. Yes. You, you, you remember those days? Yes, I can remember those days. Right. Mm-hmm. And you had 3A, Mr. Winston. Yeah, Winston. And, uh-huh. He's in Alaska now. Oh, Mr. Winston's in Alaska? He was in Alaska. I don't know whether he moved back to the States, but he spent many years in Alaska. And, and also to Mr. Maglo in Standard 4 for the girls. <laughs> remember Mr. Maglo? Oh, yes, he died. Yes. Uh, Jamas, do you remember Mr. Yes, I can remember Mr. Maglo. From, from, right. from Mr. Lo- Maglo from Loda. So, 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 when you were at the Rosa Girls School, with the Windsor Park was our backyard because the Windsor Park had a basketball court. Um, you had football, netball, netball. So, tell us the relationship between you at the Rosa Girls School and the Windsor Park. Well, I'd love going to the Windsor Park just to see it because when we went there during school days, we couldn't do anything at all because the older ones was occupying all the areas, especially at the back of the pavilion area where they started the county ball, the hard cock ball bowling. We used to go there and sit down and, and, and in that environment there, it was very good. You need to tell people exactly, you're talking about the northern side of the Windsor Park where the yeah, pavilion was. Going to technical going wing. Going to technical area. wing, right. There was two... Um, county um, strips. Yes. Right. So that's what you're talking about. We used to go there and visit. We used to go to the merry-go-round. We had all the seesaws and skate at the merry-go-round. Mm-hmm. Where the CSA presently be there. We yes. used to went all there. And when we go on the turnaround, they used to have a studio. And more we tell them stop, they're not stopping. And we had to fly out. <laughs> you used to be 2D? Yes. Because <laughs> they're giving you a lot of speed. For persons, of speed. For persons who wonder what 2D means, yeah. it is giddy. Yeah, you get giddy yeah, on, that, on that thing. So you see, you see the Laku? You see the Laku language? The language, yeah. That is the Laku language. 2D, man. 2D? Yes, And, and you realize Gabi has already used quite a number of words right. that we use in the, in the Laku. And, and I mean... Can song. Fella speeding that you have to hop off. And, and you have to on. know at what time because yeah. you're going wrong the, 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 the merry-go-wrong, right? Right, right. Right. And there is some, there is some grass. Oh, you can, the out. Yes. you can guishi, man. And you can guishi. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 not only guishi, you know. <laughs> not only guishi. You cliche, you man. Cliche. <laughs> because when you go home, your pants making hole because <laughs> you don't want your mother to see that you have to bow away your, your foot when you're coming in because they're going to beat you because they do not send you merry go round. Yeah. They send you to school. Mm-hmm. So we should take our chances, but them bigger fellas just to give us a lot of, of speed. Oh, yes. 
And when we cannot come out, we have to fly. Yes. And when you fly out now, you greet you all yourself. And you and, and you giddy like heaven. Oh, yeah, but God. <laughs> <laughs> you giddy like heaven. Yes, but. And you have to decide at what time you have to fly out. To fly out, yeah. And when you're flying out, you have to make sure that another guy is not thinking to fly out. At the same time. At the same time. But it wasn't easy in those no, days there easy. because I tell you straight, Winter Park, Technical Wing, Mary Gorong was the backyard of the Rosa Girls School. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of things in that area, especially at the back by Beach area. He had a lot of fruits and cane growing there. Mm -hmm. We just used to enter, make holes, enter, break cane, eat cane. Beach is setting stone behind us, Beach is setting chop for us with butters in the ground where he's not passing. So at that time, we had to be careful when we go in inside there because it wasn't easy for a man to be planting his little things, he had one mm. leg, and for children that come to school, taking the benefit of, the, of everything <laughs> that he have. We never had to give him a break. Everything is a book of tooth beater, no lie. As a matter of fact, all those I've seen is a book of tree um, over the wall, going over, over the wall, the wall. Over the wall. back, yeah. Yeah. Yes, and, and and some of the of the Zabuka tree onto the um, health center, right. yes. you know, and and some of us that could climb, not me, I couldn't right. climb. <laughs> but all of us did it, eh? Mm. Jammers, every yes. one of us right. did it. Right. So let us not not say that oh Jammers did it and I didn't. Mm. Right, all of us did it. Yes. He had you a know? nice Kashima tree too. Oh, oh yes, and, and the Kashima was more to the Rosa Girls School. To the Rosa Girls School, yeah, more the Rosa Girls School side. Mm. Nice so, Kashima. So we we so find ourselves, you know. Um, vein Kashima. Oh yes. yes. And and uh, Kashima was a very, very, nice. very nice fruit. Very yeah. nice. You know, and I don't think, to to be quite honest, if I don't think Bichi ever got a Kashima. I'm jamming. Well, Kashima. He is, probably yeah. ate because it was the long day before. So it was there long before. Mm. So he enjoyed it. But it, our time come where <laughs> we had to eat. Every every generation, every generation, um, would pass through the Kashima. Oh yeah, I, I yes. passed through it myself. I, I, I passed through the Kashima. Jamas passed through the Kashima. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure others pass through the Kashima until Bichi died. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and the cane, Bichi cane, was between the, the, the health center right. and the documentation. The well, yes. The, the, health, <laughs> the, the health center and yeah. the health offices. Offices, yeah. yes. So the cane was in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether you're a school child, enough. whether you come to the hospital, once you see cane, because those days you tell you eat cane, your teeth getting strong. So man is to make man is to pass and just mash up. He get blows. Mash up the man, cane, and just eat the man cane. He had one two purple tree, you know, more south, no, no more more north. Sorry, but guys wasn't really bothered about no, the purple tree. No, about purple. It's about yeah. the kashima. Kashima and, and the, the zabuka and the cane. cane. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm um, jammers. So, you went to Rosa Boy School. Yes, from from Rosa Girls School, we went to Rosa Boys School. Which one? The one in Goodwill or the one in Rosa? The one where the All Saints University located okay. right now. All right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because some of us, um, some some boys, not me, um, went when when they were doing the work on the Rosa Boys School. Some of the guys went to Goodwill School. You remember that? Yeah, because of the fire, we went to Goodwill School. You know, right. remember Goodwill School? Um, we w we went there for one to five. Yes. Because our Rosa Boys School had burned. Right. But I didn't have that experience. You didn't have that experience. I, I went straight to the Rosa Girls School, Rosa Boys School, from the Rosa Girls School. All right. Right. The so, new school. The new school. All yeah. right. No, no. You arrived, you have now arrived at the Rosa Boys School. So you graduated now to be a big man. Yes. But you still have your short pants. Yes, we are still in short pants. Right. The only difference was now you can wear cancer. Yes. You can wear underpants. Because you must go to school with it. You have to go to school with it. Because in those days, you were dragging so much at our uh, buttocks of our pants. Our pants used to have holes. A lot of holes. A lot of holes. A lot of holes. So parents at that time had to had no other choice but to to buy you underwear. Underwear. So you had to wear that in those days. <laughs> Let us use the word, colloquial word. It's true. Um, 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 not Your canson, man. Canson. Canson. We had to wear canson. Yes. You know? And... Um, when you found yourself at the Rosa Boys School, you had to graduate and do two back. Did you do two back? Yes, we do two back, especially when you do not do your homework. And the teachers and them down there was real strict and they used to beat a lot. Mm -hmm. So at that time, we had to go all in the gardens and stay the day up there. But people passing, another man they call him Frank. He's a kind of warded, he used to visit all the places in the gardens looking for children and not going to school. 
Frank was bad, you know. And when we see Frank, we have to run. And when Frank holds us, he had to take us straight to the school. And we, Mr. Edwards, Foggy. Foggy, Foggy. Yes. Living in River Street, the same yes. lane with you. Yes. He used to beat us real bad. He tell us, Ben. And she whip us, man. <laughs> some fellas used to put um, their book. And when you hear plow, that means you have something in your pants. <laughs> and Foggy would say what? What Foggy would say then? Remove it. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it just like Froggy. <laughs> froggy would, when you Froggy hit you, plow, you're in puff. Froggy knows that that's a yes, book. Yes, a there. book is there. Froggy say, remove it. <laughs> and when Froggy say, remove it, his glasses are all going. <laughs> <laughs> so Froggy had plans on giving you free strokes. You have to get free yeah, yeah, you get it, you get extra. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh huh. So, so you make you made your two back. I make two back. Right. No. No. There was a partner that you two went to school with, um, Francis Saint Rose. His father was Shapokwazi. Shapokwazi. Did you did you find yourself up at Shapokwazi, um, King Garden? Yes. That is where got a bill right now. That's correct. They had a gate and as if they had a burial ground. There's a cemetery, that's correct. Yes. So he and a man they call Rabbit. They used to plant cane there. We took and carry cane on our head. For us to get two two little strands of cane for us to take home. And your monk of hands used to beat us <laughs> for them two little pieces of cane. Carry cane on our head whole day. I do not know where they should transfer it to, but we used to carry it and put it close to the closer to the road. What's Chapo Kwasi? Uh-huh. And 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 so um so people like yourself and Francis and Sikiye, that's his son. John. What's Sikiye's name? John. No, John is is a big one. John Centros. And there's Sikiye. What's Sikiye's name? You remember Sikiye? I cannot even remember Sikiye's real name. I know that Eric Centros, mm -hmm. Sikiye, and John Centros. Right. Someone will call us and tell us what is Sikiye's name. I, I never, I, I, I went to school with Sikiye, but I never can remember his name. I never remember his name. name. Right. But those guys were the sons of Mr. Um, Shapokwazi. And um, they too were not easy. They 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 they, 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 they had to guard their father's skin. Yes. Because when we met two back, um, we would come back to school because many times we do not know that Shapokwazi sons are going to school with us. We got to know maybe after we left school. And they would come back and tell they would, would come back and say, Guys, we know we're going to Shapokwazi garden and what we do and what we, we didn't do. And next thing you see Shapokwazi coming by Froggy. Yes. So you said you made your two back. Yes. When you made your two back, did you go on the power? You said you went to the gardens. Where, where else you went? Well, we molested in the gardens, sitting, eat our recess. When it's time to go home, we go out of our home. But the best joke now, when you go home, your parents ask you about your work. We used to force to do our work on the book and put dates. <laughs> but they know that is not the real date because we ourselves, we try to defend ourselves because we don't want blows. So when we go home now, they test our book, they bring us to school next day. Parents come into school, you know. And when they come to school, they ask the teacher, if you was at school yesterday, she tells you, oh, that boy, Mr. Three days I don't see him. I'm Galva. <laughs> Where you was, Galva? I can't answer because I wasn't at school. The teacher had to give you a beating. When you go home, pitiable, they have to beat me again, you know. So I get in double beating. My father was an easy man, you know. My father do so much things for me to behave myself. That's why I, I raise up quiet, so, you know. That if I tell you i never been arrested by a police, never sleep in a cell, never go to jail, at my age right now, I'm 62 years old. And I'd rather to be that way, you know, Cecil. If I don't make any sense, be a bad boy. That's not going to pay. Because you know what it is, when we was River Street, time is 6 o'clock. Or before, six, before the darkness fall, we have to go inside, you know. Because the Luga who and Naja bless that was over the river. And when they look at darkness for they to have a chain passing, especially dragging in the street for us to be afraid. But Jamas, it's a good thing you said that, you know. <laughs> you, 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 I will remember in the early 70s, not even in mid 70s, in the early 70s, um, everybody would be in by one minute to seven. Yes. Because at seven o'clock, 
the Luga who is passing, passing with his chain and you're hearing it in Rosewood. You're hearing it. You hear it on the street. Yes. And everybody free to even run peep because the Luga who is passing. On the bed we still go. On the bed. Parents and all. Yes. Window lock. And you hear everybody saying next day, who put it on the Luga who is passing? He passed your swear. Yes. Today, let, it, let, let them try that. No, that can't work now. But the thing is that now, over the river, the big hole, close to the apartment houses, coming down, where they're having a little parking lot across the river. Mm -hmm. That a big hole there, like a tunnel. It's still there. So you, as if you could pass through it, but we do not know what it's for. So that's where our grandparents used to tell us, that hole, that is where the logo was staying. <laughs> so, time at 6 o'clock, you have to leave Riverside and go inside. And you have to sponge. That time, you don't know about sponge. People may don't know about this thing. You have to sponge. You have to wash your foot before you go inside by the pipe up in River Street by my pass in the stand pipe. You have to make sure you wash your foot and come home. That time you have to little, you have to look blue batter batter slippers. Yes, you have slippers. to have batter slippers. And when you wash your foot from your knee going down, yes, you have to wash that because you're not going on 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 um rose bed. cabin. Not not bed. It wasn't bed. No cabin. Yes. I'm glad you talk about the cabin because when we was going to school and you, when you peep in bed, my brother, when you go, remember we do not pipe at home, in, everything is the stand pipe and river. People have it nice now. You have to go with your mother or you alone by the river and wash your pee pee bed in, you know, and open them on the stone by the river. When you come from school, sometimes you forget the bed in all six, seven o'clock there. When you come to sleep, you have no bed in your parents are going for it, you know. You have to go and get your bed in by Riverside, you know. And shake it up and bring it home, you know. I don't know. Remove the dew on it. Yes. So we go through a lot, a lot. And all parents had their stone, their rolling stone by the river to wash. You got to take Myra stone. You can take my sister's stone. You can take my Jane's stone. Everybody had their stone to wash. That river you see there, that is where Eric Centros and John Centros and Chapo Quasi, Madame, mm -hmm. lost her life, you know. The river take my two feet, you know. Big hot mm -hmm. sun, you know. See that river they call Roseau River? It is not just a Roseau River. That river come from Trafalgar and Livia Dos area. Two rivers in one, especially when rain is falling. And you see that river tell you it coming down. And you know that's the best time we to choose to cross the river. Little boys. For us to swim across the river to go on the other side of the river. All our river natural, we don't the cross river, you know. We're going right up by the big stone. And that big stone close to when you watch the that's some Arab man close to the corner of River Street. Yes. The house is still there. Yeah, yes. We're reaching right there and we're diving in the big river to put us on the other side. When there's a bridge, we can pass to go on the other side. We use that big river. Our life could go long. God have watched us all them days. We didn't know what we was doing, you know. That's when more coconut coming down, big pig coming down, cow coming down, trees coming down, stone, big stone rolling. And that is when we're going to cross the river. That's why I say over river had a lot of gardens. We used to invade the gardens. We used to pick what we want, put it in the mulch over the river to ripe. When we come next day, fair, let's take our own because they own the right here. Let, let's, let's go back a little bit on that. Um, I, I like that point you made, Jammers. I, I want people to re reflect a little bit on, on that aspect of it. Where the bank of the river, you, are so, you, had, you, you had a lot of mulch along the bank of the yes. river. And, and I don't use the word volley. I don't use the word, I rather use the word take. So when you take something and you need to hide it, you used to hide it in the mulch. In the mulch. So, 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 Jammers, tell us that story. I, I want to hear that story. Because I know quite a lot of guys who lived on the riverbank um, from that of um, the end of Bath Road down to the mouth of the river. Jelbushui. Jelbushui would have done that. Help us to have a better well, when we When we go across the river, remember C Force, Morris, all these people who had the garden there. A lot of mangoes, kashima, and fig, and all these things. So what we do now, we go in there before they come, 
and we pick in our mangoes, our cashew, and we put it into the mulch. We cover it nicely to ripe. But what for now? The same set of feathers we go with, they're going back when we're not there and they're taking our own. So we decide now we get a new style to dig the ground. We dig in the ground, put your leaves on them, cover your thing and you mark it. You put your mark if it's a wood or something or stone you put on top of it. But that is your mark. They still used to dig it and take our things. So it was my own ripe or their own ripe. They take theirs and they still take yours. Try to avoid hitting the desk because it's coming yes. through. Yeah. All right. So we used to go over there, enjoy ourselves. But at a certain time now, the owners of the garden, we didn't used to call them farmer. We didn't know about farmers and these things. They used to wait for us. So they used to chase us with their cutlass. So we had to fly in the river now, all our clothes wet, we can't go home. We had to stay in the sun for it to dry. Because we don't have no excuse to tell our mother we go over the river and take somebody mango or take somebody cane and they chase us down. See them wood I'm using, so we to use it. Chase us down and we fly in the river and then we go on the other side by the Windsor Park and stay there till we dry to us to go home. And why is we drying? Time running on us. So when we go home, we have to have another excuse again. So that's how it was over the river. Over the river wasn't easy. And it had the rosy, or they call it, in the center of the river again. It's a kind of bush, it's like a mulch. It cut in you. So that's why they give it Roseau. I think I can't really remember the name, but Roseau River come from the the mulch that was growing, not the mulch on the side of the river, the one that was in the center of the river. It's more or less there that name, Rose, something come out for Rose River. No, no, in, in, in your area in River Street, you had Basse or you, or you had um, Corrant? We had Basse, the big stone. The big stone was the Basse. So everybody had to go into the Basse, but the water calm, it don't move fast. And below there, remember all overhanging trees, the, the mangoes, they used to stay below there and right below there in the water. So who can take Lalin? We go below there. You had, you had another word for the Laku? Lalin. You, you'll go below there and get Maybe. the mangoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for, let's say now you have to eat crayfish head to get Lalin. So right now you're digging up stone close in the side of the <laughs> river to get crayfish for you to eat the head for you to get Lalin. For you to go down there. <laughs> yeah. We should get our glass, you know, to shadow the water, to see where the crayfish is, you know, Cecil. First, we should catch a lot of crayfish in you, the you river. Put in, you're putting the, the, the glass on, on the water. On the water. Mm -hmm. And you can, you are able to, to see. To see. If the, if the crayfish is moving. Yes, when you shift the stone under yes. the water. No, no, no. Let me ask you, Titiwi. I know Rosa River used to have quite a lot of Titiwi in your area, especially. You you, 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 you you actually went out and fished for, for TTV? We used to set our bags. We set our bag and next day we come and pick it up. Take all the stones in it, shake it up and take it home for our parents to make TTV aqua. Yes. You know, it, it was nice, man. Especially when the lime juice come down from El Rose. It is to blind, blind the fishes and them and the crayfish. So all the big Zabita and Tita and Domi, and Jaji. Oh, hold on. You see, all, you see all the names you call in there? I know each of them had an, had an action on the body, so you have to help us to understand that. So yeah, you're talking about what the grapefruit used to be doing. The lime. When mm. they squeeze the lime at Elrose, when they flush the water, mm. it was so... Powerful. Po um, the, the, the liquid that coming down from the lime... So concentrated. It used to have the fishes and them basudi. So at that time, we have to go oh, and Hold get. on, hold on. You, you, you heard another word from mm -hmm. the Laku? Bazudi. That has to make you giddy. Yes. yes. So we have to go and get our mother basket that you go and mark it to dip in the lime water. And that is where you get in all the big mealy, jaji, tita, and these things there. So when we get the, the jaji and them, we have to bring it for Ma, Ma, Eva and them, that is Pascal, grandparent and them. Because they have, they have to rub it in sand. Knocking. Let's, let's try to avoid that. Yeah, they have to. We used to go and sell it for them. So they used to take the jaji, use the sand diffy and lime, and stretch it out 
and scrub it nicely, clean it up, and fry it. When you get a piece of that, you wouldn't say Jaji you eating. Because they were taking good care of the Jaji when we bring it for them. Um, tita. The Tita was a big thing, like a lush. You had to cut it. It, have, it, it, it don't have skill for that. It have plenty skill. So you had to know how to clean it for you to prepare it. But only the parents and them could prepare this thing because we didn't know much about it. Mili caca. Oh, mili caca. We eat a lot of mili caca. And no matter what people say, mili caca that have as big as we be there today. We eat a lot. We have our big pot on fire by the riverside. My pim pim, uh, my pim pim that is Desmond Kazimi and their mother. They used to have their bakery there. So the tin, they have their butter. All the crust butter, when we put our free stone and our pot on fire, no matter how much butter that remain, it have butter oil there. Yeah? It have a lot of oil on top of the mealy. And Desmond and them used to take the little flour, but we go over the river and get our fig. Tanya Young, we take it. We don't care how young it is, we take it. Because, on the ba because you, you're saying that to say that on the bank of the river, you should get yam, you should get fig bananas. Yes, because people plant in there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take it. But it don't belong to us. And we should cook our big pot of food by the riverside. And there's man causing me and them to escape. You hear the word escape? Dexter, Ducree. Linton, all them fellas there, Makazimi, Pim Pim, Theresa and them. They have to escape because they don't want, they cannot deal with us because of their standard. We're more rebel than them. We have to be more out than they, they inside. So when we cook, we have to leave their, their chair for them. Especially when Pim Pim used to raise them big, big race fall from Blashard. I think it's Blashard or Blashard. Blashard, Blashard. In Russo, so they yes. to raise this fall. Blashard, the white man. Yes. So no one then is to buy and raise them so they can eat at their home. So we still get one no one then we have to hold their fruit and go with them and Desmond and them give it to us. So Pimpy Pim and them don't know falls missing because them falls is heavy duty falls. So when we go we have to clean it by river and we have a big jot by river. Then would again jot, that's food. Yes. Uh -huh. And we still enjoy ourselves. So Mark Azimi and them now, they are their big cree. So when we go by Mark Azimi, when they bake their bread, those days bread used to be on balise. So they have a stick putting the bread on top and push it in with a balise under it. So what that burn, we have to eat it, that's ours. So everybody waiting for burn bread. They used to make cookies, gingerbread boy. You have a head, hand, and two foot. When we go there, when we do get, we make hole in my pim pim wire. And we took in our hand to get cookies. They just bapping people to send things behind it, but they're so big, they cannot move fast. So before they move, we don't take our cookies and go already. It was a nice time living in river. And that wasn't stealing, that was taking. We were taking. <laughs> you, you heard that? Um, um, yeah, they're taking. They, take. they, they, they were not stealing, they were taking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when we used to play. I don't tell you about our ball. But, but, but before you go, I see someone been trying to get us for the longest while, and a few persons have been calling. Yeah. Me, I have like call us to say. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I heard you hear friends say about. Speak a bit, river. speak a bit louder, mm -hmm. first now, please. He called, he called Trafalgar River and Livia Duth River. He left out Livia Clare River. Yes, Livia Clare. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Livia Clare, Livia Duth, and Trafalgar River is free in one. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, it's right. true. Right. Because we used to go up by the dam in Live Clear. We had a dam up there where they stopped the water to come down to Roseau. But Hurricane David destroyed all the pipes and they never put back the dam up that side. Hurricane David wiped it out. So early on you were talking about the, the lime water from El Rose. But also El Rose used to let go or used to um, give out. Should I say it's give out? Or they used to actually throw in the river um, some of the juices in the team that were not good. Well, that is what I used to remember. El Rose had a, 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 a pond to the river with big pipes. Where that pipe now stifling water to go to El Rose. So the mullet used to use the river water and they use it to let out. It have a big drain now under the wall. So when they have the let out, it come through there. It's not just about the 
is washing the lime. The, the, when they're washing or the skin of the lime, remember they should take the lime skin to bring under the, the feeling buffer state. Remember they didn't have a buffer state housing scheme yet. That a lot of cows under them lime trees. So the, the lime skin, they used to collect it to bring it for their cows. The cows and them used to eat the lime skin. But the juice of that, when it come down to the river, that is what a blindfolding all the fishes. Because it was so strong, the fishes and them couldn't stand it. Not even the crayfish, they, they call Zabita. Zabita is a big, big crayfish, a big gundies. It used to grow teeth in between the gundies. So if it catch your hand, it will cut you. Because that is big, big, big crayfish. You have to know how to catch them, hold them by the head, let the two go on the hang, and you send them ashore. I can share these two when they had old grapefruits. They used to go in the river and, and let off um, grapefruits. You, you enjoyed that too? Did you? Did you? Yes, my mother used to work at the parking shed, so grapefruit wasn't a problem. So at home, I always have grapefruits and oranges because my mother used to remove rejects at the parking shed. So we always have these things at home, but we but, still used to go and call it because we eat a lot of grapefruits nowadays. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of great fruits. Yeah, his mother worked with my father. She was a selector. The, what, the selectors are those who must remove the reject. When the people bring the um, great fruits, T.D. Schillingford, all the guy, great, uh, Jupini, Hoxley Schillingford, all these people bring great fruits. A lot of great fruits. A lot of great fruits. And so they would select it. Those that are rejected, go on the side. And those to be shipped to England, Wrapped with paper, kite paper. Kite paper. <laughs> so, so, so the life of the river wasn't an easy one. No, it wasn't easy because that river there, that is where our backyard is. is let's call it is our pipe. That is where we must go and wash. That is where we have to go and empty our number one, number two, is at the river. Because we people don't had. Latrine at their home. Flushing toilets. Flushing toilets. Flushing toilet. We raised with all these things. So them days there wasn't easy. Because you had to wake up a certain time to go and empty that out. Or wait in the night for it to empty out these things at the river. It just as when it had the toilet at the back of the Windsor Park wall going to the to the technical wing. It had a toilet there by buckets. And the rubbish truck in them days is a push up rubbish truck. So they used to come and collect all the things there at night when you use it and bring it by the jail bushes and empty out and clean them and bring them back up there in the toilet. That's how it was. And that's good history, um, 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 brain. I mean, some of these, some of these things we, for, we have forgotten them. Well, I remember the toilet. I, remember I myself went to the Rosa Girl School, eh? mm -hmm. so I can still see the toilet. There, and he had, there was another toilet where Alan Caesar. Yes, this, this, the, the, the Smith man. But close to his mom. Yes. Yeah. Right. Now, m my girl, um, Christabel, lived very close to his mother. <laughs> but I wouldn't tell you that story. <laughs> Jamas have some blues for you. I know you have He used to pay him, you know, that Jamas. Jamas? <laughs> Let's see what that person has to say. Good evening to you, caller. Yeah, I was about telling you about the other toilet, but bring me to it. Yeah, yeah. There was one right by the bridge. Right by the bridge there, yeah. Okay, and thank you. That yeah. was just in between by Alan Caesar, the blacksmith man. That and Jake's. Where, Jake's, close to half of Jake's and them there. That is where the toilet was. Yeah. Good, good evening to you, caller. Yeah. There was a toilet. Speak louder, please, first. There was a toilet at the end. In the grass of the river there. There was a toilet there. Before they believe on high up by technical way. Right. Oh, okay then. Thanks, man. Caller. He's right. Yeah. No, no, no jammers. <clears throat> we 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 have said quite a lot of um, the river. Tell us a little bit about River Street. River um, Street. In River Street, uh, it, it was in our growing up. It was said that this was one of the baddest streets in the city or in the town of Roseau. Yes, I will tell you. River Street had a, uh, some grown ups boys before us. They call themselves Hallwins. So these fellas now used to be by Riverside, cutting glory cedar, collecting batteries, and making lead knockers to put into their hand for them to fight. River should never have light on the lamppost. If they put it this morning, 
night time you pass, we were sit always in darkness because of the boys and them, the bad. They used to sit by the roadside and wait. They used to have the rope across the road. If you pass in, they want to trip you, they trip you. They're on either side of the road. So, so if you pass at that time, they want to beat you up, they beat you up. River Street fellas, they are the good in them also. Because a lot of boxers come from River Street. And a lot of mechanics, like Daniel, took that. First time I see engine start on ground, it's through Daniel, took that. We had a lot of mechanics at River Street. Pi Prince, Daniel, Afa, Chinky, Hudson, all these fellas was great mechanics at River Street. And the road used to be black. They used cardboard to go under their transport to fix their vehicle. Because everybody was River Street, they bring in their, their transport. And these fellas work well at River Street. I could tell that to you, especially Daniel took that. He had a small red car at River Street, like a sportish car, and at the back of the car, and inside of the car, is a lot of tools. Like the, it was his tool, his tool kit, his car was his tool kit. So anytime he give you a ride, you must come out black in that vehicle. His mother, my Mary, used to rent one of my grandmother house, my great grandmother, in fact, my Lindsay, my Pope Soup. What people don't know, I see my, my great grand and my grand. Yes. So his grandmother used to rent a place in our yard because she was from Judel. And that place was just full of mechanic parts. So every time my Mary come down, it's a problem for her to go into the house because a lot of mechanic parts is inside here. Make, we had a lot of boxers from River Street, like Kaka, Hinge Kakabef and Cobra and them other fellas. Brin, we'd have a Brin from River Street. He was a very good boxer. We used to challenge people like Keep Flight from Virgin Lane, Bandy Legs and these fellas there from Virgin Lane. And it had a few boxers like Piki from New Tongue. They used to have a fight at the SME grounds. There was big fighting in Dominica. So River Street, people like man like Rumel. I don't know if you know Rumel is a builder. All these fellas are Yes, Rumel. Um yeah, I know him, I know him, I know him, I know him in Gotha. Well these fellas we raised with, we had people like Black Joe. Black Joe was a police officer, Mr. was bad, bad, bad. Everybody in Russia had to behave yourself because when they a black man Joe come in. You have to go and run inside because that man don't play have a little stuff under his clothes and he coming down. So all who think they bad, they have to go inside. But our fellas in those days that was fighting against Granby, I forget their name, Kipasa and all these to call them and Fokuli. They have a lot of fighting. And them fellas had a, a place in River Street under the Cobra to live at a big um, by Spring and them there. Spring and Van, and them fellas, they used to live at River Street. You know, I say fellas, and they are their pulley. All you see in that, how much iron going up in the air. They managed to take a pull a lot of weight. And Bulu had a lot of weight by him. They used to go inside and exercise. Police couldn't enter River Street in those days because those days was bad fellas. Police couldn't, it didn't have police like how it had police now with ammunition. Because those days, it's just a, your, your staff on your side. So when police pass River Street, they can make fool out of them and they wouldn't pass back there. So that's why we, as self in River Street, we have to go in and sleep quite early. But after a certain time, all these things change because people get to go overseas, live in a different life. Right now, people that is in River Street right now is not people that they know River Street. I can remember when Frankie Paul, Masisi, that is... Tony Aaron mother, the first to get a TV in River Street. And they used to have Steve Austin, the Bionics man. And every night, we had to climb up on that step with people fighting to go on that step. Who there first and who come last one to fight in for us to see the Bionics man, Steve Austin. Managed to walk like Steve Austin slow motion. You remember the song? Give me the song. Uh, you used to walk like a Bionics man. Bionics man. All of us. All of us. When we go to school with <laughs> Bionics, yeah, Bionics man. man. Walk in, man. Mm. Like a, those days was nice days after. Believe me. I enjoyed those days in River Street. 
I spent 18 years in River Street before I went to Baba State. And Baba State is another story by itself. I'm not sure yet if with, 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 with River, River Street. Street. Um, so you, you, we had some bad guys. You had gangs in, in River Street. Yes. Um, I'm saying so because people tend to think in the good old days there was no gang. No, you made mention of your guys in River Street having to fight against k and, all and having to fight against the guys in Newton and Grand the guys Bay, in Yeah, all them fellas had gangs, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a notorious guy. From, from um, He was very close to um, Daniel Green. Was that Ruben? Ruben. Ruben was one of the baddest you could see. Yes. Carnival, carnival time, Ruben would have a snake in his, in his neck. Yes. Walking around. <laughs> and, and guys were was scared of Ruben. Yes, it's true. The fellas was bad, believe me. They were real bad. You also had Desmond. Desmond Holding. Desmond Holding. Yeah, we yeah. guess that we knew him, Desmond Holding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the, and he was very big and strong. Mm -hmm. Because they had to live a lot of weight. And all batteries all over Ruzo, they had to have them melting by riverside. And they have their holes. They have to make their knuckles. So when they go and fight, you don't get in fists, you get in knuckles made out of the battery lead. But in all of this, River Street still had some good people. You had Froggy, Mr. Edwards, and you had Mr. Telemark. Mr. Telemark. I think he was an inspector of police. Yes, Mr. Telemark. You know? Um, and you had Miss Murphy. Yes, Miss Murphy was a head teacher at the, at the time. Miss mm -hmm. Murphy, that is Roy Murphy, auntie. Roro. Roro, yeah. Nice mm -hmm. to play football. Mm -hmm. It was the auntie, I think, Miss Murphy. Mm -hmm. We had my Beachy at River Street and Mr. Beachy. We had my Paz. We have Donald Farwin Kuku. <laughs> we had my Diana Farwin Kuku. And lower down River Street, we had a lady they used to call, I think my baby, she used to make a Big Sanacra. And we had another my baby up River Street, they used to call her my baby Big Sanacra. They used to sing that like a song, my baby Big Sanacra, ma. And they used to have that like a song playing. So in those days, dear, when your mother sent you in the morning to buy your her acre for her, at that time acre maybe 25 cents because we to buy bread, maybe two cents. Someone's on the telephone. Let's see what the person has to say. Good evening to you, caller. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. That is Jammer's sister, Christabel. Huh. Christabel. Yes, ring my the bell. favorite sister. Christabel, ring the bell. Okay. I'm going away from the phone. Yes, go, go <laughs> from away from the, from, the tele, from, the, from the radio. Okay. Yes, tell us now, now Christopher. When Jamas said about his grandmother, this is great grandmother from River Street, Mapok Soup. Yes. She that was from Montserrat. Not his grandmother, not my mother. Okay, my great grandmother came to Dominica in 1901. She used to live at River Clare. And then she came down to live in River Street long after okay your mother is actually Dom your mother is actually dominican my, yes my mother was born in dominica my grandmother was born in dominica it's my great grandmother the one they call my pope soup she was mrs lindsay she why, came why, from Montserrat. why my why they call her my, my pope soup her husband well it was said that he used to like pork but he used to say take all the pork and give me the soup you know, so he used to call him pork soup. Pork so soup. he liked pork. But remember, Monstratians wouldn't say pork. They used to say pork. So they would, he used to say, take all the pork and give me the soup. So he was pork soup. And then my grand great grandmother was called Ma Pok. Ma Pok soup. Okay. So she came to live in River Street. I cannot remember what year, but... I was a little girl, but I wasn't brought up at River Street. I was brought up at Church. Church Lane. Um, what's his name? Brain. Brain. Knowing me because they lived on Stiba Street at the back of our house, the next street, and they used to he used to come across by my brothers at the time, Chinky and Second. Okay? Uh, second the guy on the pot? Yes. yes. Yes, that's my mother's second child. Oh, I thought, so I thought, that's why they used to call him Second. I thought Second was, okay. So that's, that's my brother. Yes. On my mother's side. Mm -hmm. I, I now I can tell. Now I can tell second that I know why they call you second. Second yes, child. Yes, my mother's second child. Mm -hmm. Maybe he don't even know that. Now, when when Jamas was speaking and they call him Galva, his father called him after a captain of a boat called 
that Captain Galva, that's where the name came from. That, that's good history. That that is good history. No, no. Tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about River Street. Because we we are talking about River Street and the bad boys in River Street. What, what do you remember about River Street? Well, bad boys. All what well, Jammers was saying. Some of that I had even forgotten, because those fellas back in the day when they used to play bad the howlings, they used to terrorize fellas from Pottersville, terrorize fellas from Newtown. They used to stay on the what is the East Low Black Bridge now. And when you're passing, they have to ask you where you going, where you come from, and all them kind of things there. You know, so they used to play bad. And they, there was a place, I don't even remember, like a fet. Yeah, I know, like a fet. Right. It yes. was there they killed a the guy once. And, the, you know, the same guys there had their little problems with women. You go dance and you want to dance with a girl, and that one vex, and that one want to dance with the girl, and then they end up in big fight. Okay. So, but River Street itself. He, when you talk about where we were from, middle of River Street, then we had further down where my green uh, son was working on. He was a customs officer. Is that so green? Yes, yeah, she was a matron. Um, she was doing midwifery anyway, for sure, because a lot of women used to stay home and make their baby back in the day. And I remember her coming to my grandmother's home, my mother's home, to accoucher her. That's another word. And a lacquer would accouche, accouche, accouche. Well, <laughs> yeah, you make your baby at home delivery, okay. And then when you talk about um, the mini where we used to have um, the hospital, the old ministry, I don't know if you remember the wood ministry that got burnt. Yes, that time I used to go to the Rose Girl School, big fire, they had a the big fire, so they had it like a courtyard going right around, and in the middle had trees, glue glue tree where we used to go there and get glue glue. And then on the other side, where maybe around where the thing is now, the treasury they building, they had a dead room there too. They are dead room, right? too. so we used to go there and push one another to go and see dead people, and nighttime we can't go and sleep because we're afraid, you know. And then the same man he was talking about there, Frank, on the little mo motorbike, he became, long after, he became a priest at the Anglican Church. So Frank Edwards, he was reverend, but he lived at um, Chillingford's Crescent, Goodwill, by the public works there. He used to go around looking for guys that not going to school. He called them truants back in the day. And some of them, they used to pick them up and send them to a place in Antigua called Skerit. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Yes, it's true. Where they, where, uh, later down, we had a um, home farm in Dominica or something like that. But back then, right to Antigua, they used to send them when they were really terrible. So some fellas from River Street, they were bad. But I don't think they meant bad, but they just used to play bad. You know, God, they major for people to be afraid of them. But these fellas, you know, it's, it's a lot of fish and they used to really be big because they used to gym. Now, the place they talk about where they used to be under that tree, we were spring and summer and them fellas come from. I don't know if you remember in one of them working at um he took at Doha School. All of them were named Rudolph. after Rudolph, right. In that yard there. They had a big tree and these people used to play a thing they call it chim chim or chin chin. 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 They used to gamble. Yes. Right too. So but River Street back in the day they had a lot as you say, a lot of people who were respectable, quote unquote, and then the others that were kind of can't want or those that used to drink their, their little booze and come and talk nonsense and keep the place lively. Now, if you, you, you hear about Sugar George now, that big entrepreneur, his father Mr. was George. postman, Mr. Postman. George, right to, living by my pa's, by the, the kennip tree. the kennip tree. Right to. So you see, there's a lot of history in River Street and a lot of good came out of there too. Because... Back in the day when you hear people doing bad things like killing their wife and doing all them things. That never happened on River Street though. We had Donovan Privo at River Street also, a doctor. Doctor. Dr. Privo, they, we used to call him Troublesome. Troublesome, yeah. Right too. Freddie Nicholas come from River and Street also. Freddie Nicholas. Haynes that was working at Cable and Wireless. Um, what was his name? I forget his name, proper name. But he still Cable and Wireless back in the day there. He married to Doc Bishop. Um... Used to be on the on the radio, ah. you know. So these people there, it's just a lot of history from River Street. So, you 
Yes, yes, as, yes. As, you, as my brother rightly said, a lot of good mechanics came from there. Hudson was one of the boss mechanics. He died um, from at the infirmary. But before he went away, he used to be at River Street working mechanic. And all them guys didn't have nothing like what they have today. All kind of fancy things to get on the vehicle. Is your bend your back and go under there. Do, oh, and Mr. Hector, Cecil Hector, lived at River Street as well. And he had his shop um, on... Kennedy Avenue. And Eugene Boy. Oh, Kennedy Avenue, yes. He's at the shop where where no what's what's um um Jay's used to be there in that area there. Yes, on yeah. the on the opposite side. On the opposite of, side of, yeah. of, of Suki yeah. Yeah. Bakery. Um what no. do you call it? Um Suki Depot. Suki Depot. Right yes. on uh, opposite um Suki Depot. Be because Mr. Christian also had his musical musical school at River Street also. Right too. So yeah. see all the kind of uh, people that came from River Street originally. So, so Richard, so Richard also came from River Street. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's absolutely Richard. Absolutely Richard. Richard. Yes. Right. Mammy Lynn, they had the bakery. Mm -hmm. they, they used to have a church before Nazarene Church. Downstairs, downstairs, John William. John William building. building, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then Carbon used to have his business place there too. Yes, yes. They are still operational. They have mm -hmm. some business there presently. Mm -hmm. Don't forget Boise, son. Yes, Eugene, Eugene, Boise. Eugene Boise had a wholesale there and had a shop itself in Lago, Mr. Boise. So I see all these people at River Street. And my glad is making her ice cream. Her ice cream. Every Mother Sunday. Glad. Mother glad. <laughs> and when Christmas time, like now, when you go by Mr. Donald's shop and you see him hanging from the ceiling, from the rafters, all the children know Christmas coming. Yes. <laughs> And Mr. Christian used to give each and every every child in River Street a toy. Mr. Christian and Mark Christian with their but, cake. Um, when we talk about the port and um, where the boat used to come in, back in the day, I remember when I was going to Rosa Girl School, they had a schooner or a light. I'm not sure what, which one of those. Bringing Santa Claus. And school children would get a little ticket from school to go there and you would see Santa Claus and get to have a you know, little, have a little cake and your little whatever they give us. And when you leave in, you go with a little present. You know? So that's part of um, what used to happen. And River Street people were supposed to be, you know, not so well off. So you'd make sure your, the children in the classes got their little, you know, ticket for them to go and have a little good time on the, at the warehouse. Yes, I can remember them time. And yeah. Santa Claus coming from the sea. And we don't know where he's coming from, but he's coming <laughs> with all his ho, ho, ho. And everybody has to go and, go and sit on his lap and get their little um, gift from him. What, what, what you can tell us about, um, oh, I'm trying to remember her name. Her name was in my mind a while ago. But she's the mother of Joan and Cheryl Riley. Oh. Um, Ma Marona. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. What can you tell us about Marona? Marona was playing parts i don't know if she was she wanted to be a man but she always she, i never can, i can't remember ever seeing that lady in a dress you know always had her short pants Rangala. and walking up the road and you know walking up with hands you know why her gun this wide open you know but she was a very pleasant lady because um river street people they were like i would want to say family they quarrel today but time for next day they, they good you know and now, when you see when you leave River Street and you're bending to go by the riverside, to go by Jake Sandem. The Masisi area there. Right. They had a big step. They used to call it a big step. It was not a veranda. It was just a decking like, and the people, every night, some women pull up there and it's enough talk. And when they see their boyfriend or their husband coming, bend the corner from Lago coming up, somebody saying, mm, look XYZ coming. Fly and go in your house because you don't demand to meet you by road. But Outside. that was the place. For to you know to gather and everybody that's when you get to, and Mr. Jules now had a shop on the other side. Yes, Mr. Jules. So yes. when Mr. Jules closes his shop at nine o'clock, that tells you time two people should be at their home. You know, everybody should be in. No, no. So, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Mm. I, I was about to ask you I, I, as 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 a lady. You, I, I, I know normally boys would run Kawat in Rosu. Shas, tell us about a little bit about Shascott. I'm not saying shortcut, shash cut. Oh, shash cut. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about shash cut. You want to talk about the place or the people that play in shash cut? Because it had people playing shash cut, you know. 
people playing chess <laughs> court. Yes, uh huh. <laughs> when when you're not going the right way, you know, when young girls um want to go and meet their little boyfriend, they still go, they're making chess court. Oh. Yes, that, mm-hmm. that one, that one. That is shash court, yes. and then shash court, where you pass in from one person yard, go to another yard, like you could leave River Street and pass through a shortcut, get to Kennedy Avenue, uh, Street. Street, cross Pong, get to um, by Caramdale, right just Virgin a little Lane. below, by, and come out by my, my Piper, Mona Piper place there, come out there, and go to another shortcut. You can reach New Tongue and shortcut. never pass. On, uh, on the road. road. Imagine a guy saw me passing in Ponga there and he said, My lady, you sure you know where you're going? <laughs> I tell him, Little boy, shut up. <laughs> That's why I used to pass to go to mixed school. Yes. You know mixed school? Of he course. tell me, No. Oh. No, the guy tell me, oh. No. I say, Well, so do come and tell me about shortcut. And man, no black used to be there in mixed school selling no all black. the bread oh, yes. and. Oh, Lord have mercy. And, 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 in, 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 in Pong there. And, 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 man, and, and, and Sandy. Yes. And um Sisin. Sisin. You know, so back in the day, you know, children you could pedit people in if you see police behind you and they don't ever pedi. catch you because you pass in all kinds of the, yeah, that's another pedi. one. Pedi. 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 You, know, you lose la- them man and you the, gone the, miles the la- and they the word. Yes, yes, that's pedi. another lack of word. Yes. You know? So it, it was like that and then you could end up all new tongue just passing through shortcut, 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 until you reach all like around, um, the last one would be Glover Lane. Oh, yes, Glover Lane is in Newton. Yes. is in Newton, yeah. So when you come out Glover Lane, you, you uh, onto the Newton Savannah. Mm-hmm. And then so, you can walk, and if you want to go to Kings, you have to walk on Main Road. No, if you really know where to pass in Kings Hill, you pass in the back by Anglican Cemetery. Yes. You bust not in order, another shortcut way. Okay. Yes, to go up right. Br- to go up Mount Bruce. All right. <laughs> I didn't know that one. That won't take me. <laughs> but 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 um, what's your name again? Jama's sister. Christabel. Christabel. Wow, that was enlightening. I, I, well, I, uh-huh, go ahead. I'm sure my other brother would have give you more um some more information that I forgot. You 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 talking about you talking about second? No, Bolo. Bolo. Oh yeah, Bo- Bolo rocks the football. Yes, oh, oh, come on, now, Jan. You tell me if I Zafa Mosopie. <laughs> right, that's my brother as well. Right. Oh brother. Yes, yes. And he himself have a lot of history in his head too, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. he used to play part. You know, um, quiet, quiet, quiet. But don't worry about them. Mm-hmm. All of them was play quiet. You know, in their own way. Mm-hmm. Second, now my brother nearly drunk on the power. You know, what? making couldn't he, he couldn't swim. He, they say he and fellas like Bear fell, bad, be, tough, big, bad Bear fell. His mother, my Mary, was a blind lady blind living lady, in yeah. the same little area there. And the man make two back, and next thing they call in my grandmother to come and get Mr. Casualty, you know. Because fellas say when they see Mr. Dive down, all they see him coming up is bubbles, you know. And when the big fellas have to go and take him on the power and bring him passing the. the Yam, some kind of yam piece they place at the top of oh, around where those guys have the garden there by 35 steps. Uh-huh. Oh, no, 35, no, no, not right. 100 no. steps. One. That was around that area there. Well, jammers know where they used to pass through cane field and, and, and lime field and end up hospital. Hmm. So that's where they had to pass and bring him hospital and it, then they call my grandmother for him. He had a and, shortcut there. And guess what? He's still getting enough beating. Still, this. They still give him blows? Yes. Of course, you're nearly drunk, but you get in blows because you make two back. Boy, that was crucial. Yeah, so... That was crucial. <laughs> but interesting program, eh, I can Thank tell you. you. Thank you. Very. I listened to the one when you had this... I I mean, I came to tears when you had Boom's son. Yes, I'm um, that, that way. Because I actually know him, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and you know Boom's. Uh, I, I, of course, I knew Booms, and the other day, the Booms' other daughter died. Yes, that two weeks ago, before, just two weeks ago. Uh, yes, about week before that. Mm-hmm. Booms, but I never knew Booms was in street. I mean, as a child, you maybe wouldn't hear the, the kind of conversation that would make you know what this boy went through. And mm-hmm. uh, I just can't remember him going to school with his book in his back pocket and no shoes. But I didn't know... And a lot of us had, to, uh, I mean, back in the day, what they call in Toyota, that's what a lot of us went yes. to school with when mm-hmm. we were going to elementary school. Mm-hmm. I got good shoes when I went to Goodwill high, Junior High School because I was one of the students that had to leave Rose Girl School because everybody from before the bridge had to end up going to Goodwill School. 
So that's when I wore proper shoes because you had proper uniform and you had to wear proper shoe and socks. But all when I was going to Rosso Mix Infant School, sometimes it's uh, just my little rubber. P- um, you told us by butter. Yeah, I told us by butter. <laughs> and, <laughs> and later down, when you know you go to high school, then you have your, your, your proper lace up shoes, you know, mm-hmm, back mm-hmm. in the day. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. but we, that nevertheless, we didn't come out too badly because, uh, as Jama say rightly, he never was arrested for anything. He never, you know, ended in, up in prison. Or, you know, so mm-hmm. many things happened because I remember when somebody was trying to dunk play River Street. Mm-hmm. And I said to the person, let me tell you something. That time I worked at Social Security. I said, let me tell you something. Who do you know from River Street that killed your wife and then killed yourself? Do you know anybody? Where did that happen? I think you can remember yourself. So I don't have to <laughs> remind and bring bad news. Yes, yes. It happened. people from River Street? No, they were not from River Street. It happened in the middle of Russo. Mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. That didn't happen on River Street. So, if that ever happened, so, so I would have known. So more of that happened in the center of my areas in those days. I know we're not calling where. <laughs> we're not calling where. Right, yes. Okay? Yes. So when the person was trying to, because the person saw me at River Street, they didn't know I knew anything about River Street. Say, so what are you doing there? I saw him, you know what I'm doing there? I said, you come River Street and ask about me. And then somebody will tell you, my mother, my great-grandmother, Imagine the other day somebody was telling me that little link between River Street and by the riverside where Alan Caesar had his thing. That little that little street there is Lindsay Lane. Our great when grandmother. My, oh, right too. She, they, she was her, she was Monstrat, as I said. They, she was maybe one of the first people to come from Livia Claire. She was living when she first came to Dominica and ended up building a house down there. Up to now. The, 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 I know the spot, but the house itself, Hurricane David, mash it up. Mm-hmm. Understand? Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's good people came from River Street, mm-hmm. and up to now, well, I don't know what's happening because I hardly hang around. I still live there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, All right. Interesting. Yes, man. Interesting conversation, so, if you. Yes. All right, then. Uh, okay. Take th- care. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Jamas, I can say that your sister, your sister, um, took note of her environment. Yes, because she's older than me. Yes, she took note of her, of her environment. But the mothers, the mothers raised at Goodwill, Church Lane. Mm-hmm. Second, my when well, my mother make children, it happened in Allah, so p- Grandmother take children and raise children. Mm-hmm. So in those days, the, your mother cannot take care of her child. The grandmother will take care because they can afford. Because at at Goodwill, they used to kill a cow or a pig mm-hmm. every weekend. So we was our fish in black pudding and these things for us to enjoy ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they used to slaughter these things. We used to <laughs> yeah. have, we used to have mm-hmm. our, our animals tying on the good old savannah, mm-hmm. our, our sheep. And we never had to kill our sheep and them because I don't know why, what was the reason they wasn't killing the sheep. But the goats and fowls and pig and cow, they used to slaughter them. Well, his, his grandfather, Cedric, was a very good friend of mine, and Christmas time, Chinky second, the lady who just spoke, Christabel, I know her very well, and her other sister, man, we used to have a great time up there by their grandmother. And boy, I can tell you, what a life. I used to enjoy lying down on her, <laughs> on a sofa. Sofa, man. <laughs> that was my bed, you know. Special sofa. A man. special sofa that lady had. It was always my pleasure Going and just tell her, I want to lie down. <laughs> and, and I find, my, I find myself on this, in the joint room, man. Yes. And from there, bet your life, I'm going to get my coffee. I'm going to get my cake. And when Christmas time comes, Cedra, kill that cow. Trust me, my brother. We're going to have a good time for Christmas. We're going to eat meat for Sheen and Bude. <laughs> so, a lot. No, no, no Jama, Jama, you say your first 18 years, you spent it in... River Street. River Street. And you spoke earlier on, at the age of 14 years, you played football for... River um, Boys School, under 14. Boys School, under 14. Help us to understand your, your soccer life um, during the period in River Street. Well, River Street, where that was school days when I would play for River Boys School. We used to have a blue, a blue shirt. And we played at the Windsor Park against other schools. 
Gomer School, SME, and them schools, all, all, them, all them schools they had there under 16. But telling you the truth, most of them games there, I cannot recall them game because it's so long in your teens. Because from there, I, I make other teams because we end up making our own team. That is William Coffey, Father Coffey brother. We had our own team. He, I think he went to the grammar school, uh, grammar school, Mr. William O'Coffee. Yeah, he went to the Dominican grammar school. Well, he, uh, he, he built. He he build. That's the one who got drunk, right? Yeah, he, he, yeah. Yes, I'm just going yeah, to give you the history. Yeah, of, yeah. He built Greenslave because we Ken Brand Kens had so many players that we couldn't make the team, so we decided to make our own team. We get sponsored from By Trini. By Trini had a place on Bath Road. Where they were sewing clothes and this thing. So they had white shirts. So they tell us they could sponsor the shirts and we had to buy the cloth to make the pants. So right now, they removed the white sleeve and they put green sleeve. Green sleeve so us with free green stripe coming down. And we get some short pants. I cannot remember who made them short pants for us. But that day was it just a, was a just big joke in Winter Park because the pants were so tight, it was bursting on us. Yes, we have to go back and make more pants. So by training sponsors the, the shirts. But after before Hurricane David, we was about to come into the Winter Park to play a game. We play one one two games, but after Hurricane David come and destroy the team, the football. And William Coffey, I think I cannot really remember, but he had gone to the freshwater lake and he had lost his life at the freshwater lake. Tito Gorge, I think it was. Yes, so, t all right, Tito Gorge. So from there, our team mash up, and who go join Ken's bro, like Earl Daly and these fellas, Freddie, all of them go to join Blue Stars, and I went to Baffer State. So Let's I hold that for a while. Good evening to you, caller. Hi, good evening. I'm listening with tremendous interest. Thank you. Very good program. In fact, um, your discovery program is really making some... Woody in Rhodes is really discovering some new talent and the jammers song like a historian. I remember the old days, man. I remember the old days when we were street boys in the 70s, late 70s, the police could hardly walk on that street. But really, they produce some good people now. Even before, I mean, certainly it's a good program. I'm learning a lot there. At least you have a little historian. There is a few jammers I never knew. He had all that kind of history behind him. So discoveries is really identifying and discovering new talents man i'm listening good night thank you good night good night to you sir yeah uh so yes so yes jammers football yeah. and, and 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 green sleeves yes then from from william before, Olos, before you go let someone else wants to say something good evening to you caller sorry about that you have to call back yes go ahead yeah so we decide to go and play for Baba state and i make the Baba state team but it was you you were living Baba state already Yes, we, we so, so, we let's hold, so let's hold that thought still. Let's go back to the telephone. Good evening to you, caller. Yes. Please, uh, please the volume of your radio, please, caller. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hold the volume of your radio. Yeah. Where's Jacob? Was in my name? What's that? In Jacob. From River Street. In Jacob. Yeah, the one who was in my Oh, okay, then. Yeah, in Jacob. So yeah. that was the table that was in Okay, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, but John, William, John William is the one that was responsible for the mechanic as he used to be in River Street. John William had a garage there. That's Watson's father. Mm -hmm. so that is why he get all the mechanics around there. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, Jammers, that um, at the age of 14, you played for, for Green Sleeves? No. Mm -hmm. For a Boys School? There was a boys, um, there was a boys school team, mm -hmm. and then we played for Greensleeve. Yeah, after Greensleeve, I went to Barber State, and that is where I play all my football. Okay, for Barber State. Um, did by any chance William who played for Kensbro? No, he didn't. But Never played. But, but, but Earl Daly. Earl Daly was from our team. James mm. Modest and these fellas there. Mm. Yeah, come from our team. Okay. Um, now let's let's take a transition now and go into. Bath Estate, 18 years and above. Bath Estate. You arrive in Bath Estate, a housing scheme. Not too many people at the time you came to Bath Estate were living, was actually living, sorry. Um, were living in, in Bath Estate. Um, what, what, what is the transition like moving from 
River Street to Baba State? Well, when I come to Baba State, I still didn't have the... Stay, no, stay, I still couldn't stay around in Baba State. We, we come to Baba State, and I think in that same year or the next year, Hurricane David destroyed Baba State. So we had to go back to River Street by Johnson, Isaac, better known as Mosopi. We had to go back down there to live. So then I decided that I don't to leave River Street. I come up and I take the wood from the house, the Hurricane David destroy, and build a shack in the yard. And you don't know that is history. The shack is still there. You know what I call it? A shack. Shack. A little house. Yes. And that is where I feel more comfortable. I don't want to go in the big house. I don't know why. But guy raising that yard, plant that yard, clean that yard, clean the whole lane and back drain and front drain. That is what, that's why in the neighborhood Buffer State, all the elderly and the young ones, they love me because of the kind of person I am. They call me the cleanest person in Buffer State. I just want to see the place clean. If I pass and I see a tissue in the gutter, it don't look good. I pick it up, I put it in the pool bell by Meryl. That's where it have to be. So my lane always clean. So in growing up in Baffa State in that period, um, the experience of pipe bond water, what was it like? Pipe bond water? Mm -hmm. What was the experience like? Well, the water in those days, we took a lot of problems for water. So we used to wake up at night. Because the water only come at night. So we had to try to fold all can we have. Even Bebel, you have to fold it. Because that's the only time you get water. Otherwise, you have to go to the river every morning to so bathe. Some people might wonder what you're talking about. Bebel. Yes. And another, another lack of That's the cover for the Coke's bottle. Right. <laughs> so it's Bebel, we used to call it. Right. Um, so I still want to give you history, especially when it's to be River Street. Oh, I, I, I'm in Baffa State now. Yes. So I'm talking about, you were talking about the water situation in Baffa State and that you had to get up early in the morning to Bawi water. Anytime at night, because we leave the tap and them open. So anytime the water come, we must hear it. So you have to put your hat, put your shoes and come out and collect all what you can collect. Because when you wake in the morning, there is no water. But after a couple of time, years pass, the system changed, I don't know. We started to get water flowing every day. No, no, before before all of that, there was this, we used to call it the bomb. Remember the bomb in the entrance of Baffa State? The you bomb? can tell us about it? Which bomb? The figure used to make the big noise like the bomb. Boom! Oh, I will give you the history of mm -hmm. that. Yes, tell us. That was an overflow they had in the corner for the for the, for the sewage, close to where they build the Rosa Infant School, that school at, at Baba State there. That it was a thing that every time it full with the water, it turned over by itself. But then now, we use it as a bomb during, after 1979. I was coming to that. That's 1979. Good. Yes. After the... Of revolution Ocean. of oh. Patrick Rule and John. Yes. So people decide now, they decide to come up to Baba State to burn Baba State houses. And we used to guard on the bridge every night and on top center room because they went up center room and spread down stones on our houses. Because they, they wanted to destroy Patrick John housing scheme. So what we did now, every night we lift up that thing in the air and we let it go <laughs> on the road. So that is to song all in Rosso. So they to say, what? They might have a bomb up there, boy. <laughs> well, not a bomb. It's just the, the, the soccer way, turnover. We just used to throw it down every night. How many times for the night? So if you're thinking of coming up to Baffa State to do anything, you'll run back down. They say we are bomb up there. We did not bomb. It's just the soccer way, pan. We, we just used to throw it down every night. Oh, no. Growing up in Baffa State, the, the cows and oh, what? what? The cows and them used to be on the next side of Baba State. And the people and them used to come there, milk their cow, kill their cow, go with their meat, feed their cow there also on the lime skin. They used to have the tractors from El Rose. 
dumping lime skin each and under every lime tree in Baffa State opposite the the bridge. Because when we come at Baba State, each and every house is at Baba State at the lime tree. I don't know if all you had, you had that one, but each and every yeah, I had we had one because of the remember it was a lime field that was there. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of limes at Baba State, and we used to go down by the arrows. We used to get limes ourselves to take home to bring for our parents because it's lime coming from all Sufria and these places tractor load, and there's dumping in the machine to crush. Remember, they used to can this thing in barrels. I think it's barrels, not can. They used to have some in can, but more or less barrels. The buko. The buko barrel with a cock. And they used to put a, a kind of bag around the cock to cock it. And they used to ship it to England. So I think England still have lime juice on reserve. Still. Because they are among that come out into Dominica. They are among of lime they squeeze at Elro's company. Because we used to go up there and scrape the ground also to get the, the, the cast of it, the, ca the cast, cast, how they call it, and bring home for us to make juice. We used to get some reject of, of pan. When you, when you get the pan, reject, you bring it home. And you have to transfer it because it's so strong. You can have juice for, the, for a whole month. That From pure, one tin. Pure tin juice, yeah, yeah. lime juice that was in it. Yes. I remember that like yesterday. You know, so you drink a lot of squash. Yes, no, it's not squash. We just just add a little sugar to that. Just yes. add a little water to that. Yes, and you had no sugar to add. You do, yes, yes, you it's know? true. Uh, it was really good, a really good juice from El Rose. No, no, Jammers, um, you you can tell us a little bit of the life of the young boys in Baba State. Baba State. While you're growing up. Well, Baba State. Most of my time, I used to spend it at Kennedy Avenue and come up at night. Because our custom with Kennedy Avenue, because of the free streets there, River Street, Isbury Street, Kennedy Avenue, and Great Marlboro Street, and Cork Street. We used to make one in Kennedy Avenue, everybody liming by the Silima. The Silima was 25 cents and 30 cents. We used to go to matinee, or we used to escape on Sundays. Our parents don't send us, we collect. Kenny, or what we go by Daniel Green, we get our mangoes, we sell our mangoes, and make our 25 cents to go to, Silima, to matinee. So it, it wasn't easy in Baffa State for us because man like Bobby, Jolo, Barrett, and these fellas there. Everybody, Michael, Hamilton, and Cripple, and Irving, and all these fellas, Bobby Aaron. I think this generation was very, very disciplined, I could tell you. But you see, after this generation, those are born in the 90s. The undisciplined. You see a man like me standing up by Mark Chrissy Wall since I know myself in Baffa State. That's where I stand. I look nobody trouble. When I read, I go inside. Making hot, I come out here. That's my place to stand up by Mark Chrissy. That's Russell and their mother place. They talk at the gardens. I can't even stand up there now. Get the young one feeling that I'm watching their business if I stand in there. By not watching their business. That is my spot before they born, before they come from their mother's womb. That is where I am. Right now, you can't even watch somebody. What are you watching me for? We don't have morning. We don't have good afternoon. We don't have this discipline in us anymore. I would like to see that come back, that discipline. Respect each other for who you are. Nobody not above anybody. Everybody are equal. Help each other. That's what I would like to see in my neighborhood, Baba State. I seen the young boys have scooter up in the air. They can hurt themselves, they can kill themselves. Because you don't know when they lost control of the bike. It's a pleasure, yes, I love to see them leave the bike up in the air, but I still scared for them. So I would like to see the younger ones that coming up after those of the 90s discipline themselves, but they join already, and that is the life they want, you know. Fast life. I want it now. If I don't have it now, I'm not nobody in the style and fashion that is ruling. I never know myself as a person that just wants things. I want to know I work hard for what I, what I need. So that's why I'm telling you, a time like before, I was a kind of shy guy. As Mr. Winston would tell me, Afoli Winston, my teacher at school, that's the last form I reached in Rosa Boys School, Form 2. Another shame to say it. 
I don't learn anything from school, you know, Cecil. All what I'm learning from is out there, you know. On the street, I learn everything, you know. So that's why when I speak to certain people like Miss Nicholas from the Rosso Committee High School, she tell me, I do song like somebody that do not go to secondary. I try to fool her. I tell her, no. I live there with the boys school at form too. I didn't learn everything because Apple Livingston will tell you, Mr. is a sleepy head. All over I watch is sleeping at the back. So they try to put me at the front, but I like to sit at the back. Till I fully Winston, send a duster behind me, say I sleep in. And he said, don't know what vision that I just shift. And the duster hit on the separation, you know that a separation in between form two and form three. It make dust. So he tell me I must be a person that have a vision and I'll be someone special in life. And one of them days, not one of them days, it maybe take about two to three years. He said he was hearing that name on the radio. He would like to know if it's Galva, they call him Jammers. But you want to meet that person because you find that person songing special, like not someone that he know. So when he meet me Saturday morning, he tell me, you that calling the radio? I tell him, oh, yes. I tell him, what happened? He said, about the port workers, I say, yes. He said, I know it's you. I see something special in you since in school. And I think that you don't know who you are, but you have some thing in you that people don't have. So I tell him, explain that to me. So he tell me, it seems that you will do things to free people from who they are, free, free them up from things that are taking place. So that's why I have the way of talking with authority because I would like to see things equal for everybody. That's how I think. I don't need anything, you know, Cecil. I don't want big house. I don't want anything at all. But I like to see everybody have something, own something. That's what, that's what, that is what I'm fighting for, you know. So I don't know how long again I'll be here. Just see us today and tomorrow we're in burial ground. So when I hear people die around me, it does have me frightened sometimes because I see people there yesterday, I see them today. And all of a sudden yesterday, I we do hear somebody pass away. I said, who is that? I'm Cochrane died. I said, Cochrane. He was the city council. It frightened me because I talked to the man the day. And next day, they, I come to work, they tell me the man passed away. But I didn't know him as Nelson. So I go to school with him, we call him Cochrane. Cecil, we just have to live a proper life. That's why I'm asking the young boys in Bapa State. Try to do something good with their life. Try to learn a skill. If you cannot get a skill, do something that you could own something. Fast money is not it. Because the fast money can bring destruction. You could lose your life. So that's why I would like to see something proper for young people, not only in Baba State, Dominica and a whole. That's what I would like to see for my people in this country. Now, let me ask you, Jammers. Um, in growing up in Baba State, um, we would have seen a lot of um, expired chicken, expired fish um, being thrown away. Uh, at the time, we used to call it Labas, uh, Silver Lake. Silver Lake, yes. Right. Were you part and parcel of getting some of those goodies, um, even if there is, even if it has diesel on it, and you could go to the river and clean it and make it available to the family? No, I, I never, I never go into these things. Okay, you were not part of never that. Never in the fig they was dumping up that pango. You know they used to dump a lot of banana when the gist boat couldn't take all the bananas. Yes, that that I, also. I never go up there and carry anything. After Maria, I never been to Rosso to carry anything from any supermarket. That's not the type of person I am. But if it, it come home, I will enjoy it. And my son bring home certain little item we need, so I could cook it when it come. And I like cooking, yeah. Yeah, I like to cook and wash. That is me. I like to be clean even though it's one clothes I have. You'll never say I have one clothes because it's always clean and nice. That's how we raise. That's our mother to bring us by the riverside to learn to wash our clothes and roll your clothes on the stone by the river and keep it clean. You don't going to wear rose clothes and have it dirty and she had to wash it. No. Come on the stone and roll it. 
before you go to school and open it? No, no. Um, a good friend of yours, um, Snapper, said good night. Snapper. Yes, your, yes, good, your yes. good body. No, no. You you live on Lime Street. Tell me what's the difference in that bubbling street called Lime Street. Tell me the difference between Lime Street and let's say Chatanier or Balata or Ciciru. What's, what's the difference? Well, with Lime Street, I, I, I think that the people molest to themselves. People are always inside. You don't really meet people to reason on any occasion like that. Everybody to yourself. That is the difference I see. And people respect one another. Yes, that's what I see on Lime Street. Quiet people, people to yourself, stay indoors, watch the television, do what they have to do, go to work, come back, and they're inside. That's how I see it at Lime Street. No, no, no jammers. Um, we would have seen on the other side, let's say the southern side of Bath Estates, um, houses been 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 built. Um, when you went to Bath Estate, there was only houses on the northern side, some two hundred and ten houses. Yes. Now, while living in Bath Estate in the early days, did you think that Bath Estate would become what it is today? No. Just growing up. No. Why not? Because I always see Bath Estate, especially when it had a lot of gova and lime and mangoes on the other side. And we had to pass through the tracks to go to the river. I always believe it would have remained that way. But it developed in a way that now Baba State is not just Baba State because we only think of Baba State of Patrick John Housing Scheme. Remember, Eugenia Charles put a housing scheme on the other side. Edison James put a past prime minister, yeah? Yes. Put a housing scheme on the other side. But the only thing what I, I see that And now there is the um um apartment buildings. Yes, it have it have apartment bill that is where the white man from England was living. That's where the the, the first apartment for the government from the Chinese had built there. You remember is the is the White House that used to be there. That's where and, and, and it's it's a very good thing that you you said that it, it brought back good memory because also to uh, we saw service division lands and service was in that mm -hmm. area. Yes. Um. So a number of persons would have forgotten lands and service, but the building that was there originally was was belonging to a white guy who actually resided in in that area. Yes. And it was difficult for us to go there in those days because they had a, 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 a gate going across. So we cannot go in this area. This area was restricted to us. So we had to go alongside it first to go to the river. But that was the only, no, no it wasn't the only building because that a small building up front. It's still there with shingles yes, on it. Yes, yes. Helen lives in it. Yes, a uh, short lady. Yes, she, Helene. She's still there. Yes. So I don't know if she used to work for the white man. That's why she had the build that house on that piece of thing there because the house is still there and so strong it survived Hurricane Maria and houses that more modern than it destroy around it. You could imagine? That's a good point you've made, yeah? Yes, the yes. shingle house. Mm -hmm. Shingles was little woods put under each other. Yeah. You for, them days there is this type of houses, all River Street, that's what we had River Street also, you know. The mm -hmm. shingle houses. <coughs> and these houses stand the might of Hurricane David. Maria, and it's still there standing strong. Someone's on the telephone. Good evening to you, caller. Yeah. Yes, Cecil. The, the two houses, the two big houses, there were two white men living. One white man in one, one white man in the other one. They were sent down from England, and they were working in Buffett Street. So that was their dwelling house. Now, the house by the road is single. The ladies used to work for the white people that were living in the house. That's what I know about them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, caller, for that information. I'm happy that you could you are able to enlighten us on, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm really happy. Thank for you for that. Right one, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Jamas, we we are we are we have gotten that information from someone who's much more older than we are. Yes. Someone's on the telephone again. Good evening to you, caller. Roman Coulter. 
is the volume of your radio. Please always remember when you make that call, and load yes. on the volume of your radio. The next time, I will I'm cut you off. I call my next. I call my to the radio. Yes. Wrong and cool tad. One name was wrong, one was cool tad. Was that repeat yourself, Mr. Cool tad? One name was wrong and the other was cool tad. Mm -hmm. They were not buried the one from the two. So, yes, what, what, the, 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 take your time, please, caller. Take your time because people are listening. You one said day. one was brown, and the other was cold tad. And the other was cold tad. Yeah. And you're saying that one married to whom? He had married to one of the um, that one, my head. Which, which one? Cold tad or brown? Cold tad married to one of the heads. My head. Okay. All right. Brown dead. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Um, so we get the names of the two white men, yes. Coulthard and Brown. I know. And um, it's good that we, we made mention of it because I'm sure mm -hmm. that the present generation, even myself, I didn't know who actually resided. I, I just knew it was a white man. And, and, white and, man. and not only that, the guy who studied um, the service department there was Mr. Winsky. Yes. And at the time after he left was um, this Calypsonian. His name just um, slipped me. Um, Liverpool? Li yes, uh, Cass, Mr. Castle. Castle. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the service division. No, 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 jammers. We cannot live here and not talk about the Spring Bridge in Barbie State. Yes. Well, when we told we were to come up to Barbie State for to cross the bridge, because of the boards and the border space, we still think we could fall into the river. Because we have to hold one another hand and go board to board to cross that bridge because we were afraid of that bridge. It wasn't an easy bridge. And I'm glad right now it, 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 we have photos of it existing because I have a picture at home where I stand by that same bridge where I take out a picture with someone who come from overseas. And they sent it from overseas for me. That spring bridge was maintained by England. They had a special cool ass boiling on the side of it. I don't know what it was a really a cool ass, but it's a black tar and the long black cable. Four of them. Six uh, two, four, six, eight of them. I can remember. Two, four, six. Eight of them. Eight cables. And they used to maintain it with that black tar. To keep it strong. So that's why the bridge, when you walk on it, it used to spring with you because of the the length to go across the river. So there were times, jammers, that the boards, the thick boards, um were damaged. Yes. And we had to put ply board. Yes. From ply on, on, on it. And um it was not very um safe thing to do but we survived. Yes, because the heavy vehicles now they had restrict them to pass at Center Roma because of that. But the Center Roma back road was so narrow at the time. We, they still used to take chances and cross it while we on the bridge and it, it's springing. So a lot of people don't really experience that bridge, you know. But it, it wasn't a, a bridge for heavy vehicles, it's more or less for the tractors to carry their limes across, as I tell you, because it had a lot of lime at Baba State. It's a lime field that was on either side. So it's more or less for the tractors and for crossing the animals. But then we got started to get heavier vehicles into Dominica. So they didn't have a choice. They had to pass on that bridge. But after now, the birds and them was fading away. They started to patch it up with plywood. So then now they could pass up to center room of the heavier vehicle. But still, people still not respecting the laws of the weight, they used to put the, the weight that have to pass on that bridge. So they used to take chances of it. But it, it was a strong bridge. No, no, no jammers. Um, we are talking about the bridge. And um, we would know that uh, even, even when work would have gone on on the bridge, that you still had school children like ourselves very scared of those holes. Um, we still think that it's very wide and would, would drop even if our whole body couldn't go in to the, to the, to, into the bridge. Yeah, because we, when there was repairing the bridge sometime, when we had to oh, pass, yeah. they put one to board so as to pass also. Someone's on the line. Let's see what the person says. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening, Cecil. Good evening to you, sir. 
And good evening, Jamal. Good evening to you, sir, Lufa. All right. Sir Phil. Yes, sir. That bridge at Buffett Street, Jamal's talking about, that spring bridge. I can tell you that, one of, that was one of the strongest bridges in Dominica. You know how many hurricanes that passed us up? A lot of hurricanes. Janet. Yes, I, don't, I don't even want to call that it. Yes. Uh, and then um, another thing again, Cecil, when we used to, as Jamal said, or you said, Cecil, when we used to go to school, vehicles passing on that, we had to pass on the side, you know, they had some long, long um, wood. Post. That is where we, the school children, used to pass on that. So we took a lot of chances on that bridge. And then God, God was our guy. And now we, we, we have a concrete bridge. Thank you very much. Jamal, keep, keep telling us about Navasit, my brother. <laughs> oh, hold on. One is, yes. Jamal. Yes, sir. I have told the children in school, Baf Estate, the, the right name, was an estate. Yes. The lines that were there. And, and, it only, and it was only in the 60s, I think, people came there and sat to be homes. But that was an estate. Lines. We used to go in the river and pick guavas and cashew man, all those things. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Lufa. Yeah, because the other side of Baba Street was under power, had a lot of coconut trees. We took and sent stones in the coconut at under power also, and bathe in the river. No, no, jammers also. I'm sure that you remember that um, at the Dominica Teachers Training College, where we used to use the grounds for football and cricket. Yes. We used to play our big matches up there. And the, and the test, side. test matches. Test matches. <laughs> Use a spin bowler. Cecil used to get a lot of blows. You know. Juice, I was a juicy truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was spin bowlings, man. Well, well, Cecil, I must tell you, I saw you all play there because I attended the teacher's college there, myself and Pierre Charles, in 1977. So I used to see guys coming out from Bath Estate with a big tree there. Yes, man. Playing um, softball cricket. Uh, there. You, I saw you too, playing as a young boy and jammers. I never told you that, but um, when I was there, I saw you playing. Big games a lot of used to go big on games there. used to go on there. Someone's on the telephone. Let's hear that call, and we'll, after we'll come back and talk about this. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, my brother, Snapper. It sounds like Snapper. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely. I just want to call to pick up my boy, Jammers. Yes, sir. Good evening, What's up, my brother. Jamal? Yes, sir. Good, yeah. good history. Good history, Jamal. Good history. Yes, man. You like a history. You like a historian. Snap for the midfielder, okay. boy. Yeah, man. But Jamal, the question I want to ask you: You, you was a man that used to train a lot, always running. Always running. Yeah. And why used to get? Why used to get so much pull muscle? Over training. During the game. <laughs> Over training. <laughs> I, I want to be fit for the game. So that's why when I come and practice, I have to be number one because if you don't practice, you cannot play. So I have to practice that's on true. my own, go all up center room or come back down, go up low da, bell fast, I have to run all over the place. Up to now, I still doing my little walking. That's good. But Bobby and them used to say the reason why you used to get all that cool muscle, you didn't used to eat salt, so your body wasn't like a salt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in those days, yeah, we, 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 I was so dread in those days, yeah. You could be that yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. But we, good old days, man, German. Good old days. Yeah, man, I can remember your snapper, man, days. trying his best to make the Baba State team, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, working hard to make that team. Cecil couldn't make that team, so he had to go to Rozo and play for Celtic. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Cecil. Yes, Cecil. Cecil. Not me. No. Oh, Cecil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Only the best play for Bobby well, Jamal, we'll give me a blast there. We'll give you a blast. And, and snap, I'm making it worse, you know. Yeah, yeah by confirming. Snap, by confirming what <laughs> that Jamal to said. Migrate. By saying that um, the best only play for Bobby State. Uh, only the best. Only yeah, the best. Uh, la quem de quem. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah, man. Good program, man. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you Snapper, Snapper, for calling. All right, man. Yeah. Um, Jammers, it's a good thing Snapper called. Dread. You had some attitude of Rasta. Rasta the man is still you. a dread, man. Um, were you a dread? 
Well, I'm, I'm probably a, a kind of dread that <laughs> eating what I want to eat and other other bigger dread than me <laughs> will want to comment on what I eat. <laughs> so I tell them it's not the hair that eating is the mouth. <laughs> so you so you eat pig snout. So I, I eat all my pig snout. After <laughs> I still eat in my sauce. Who who loves sauce more than me? <laughs> Your dread quick eye man. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jamas, you are a dread Pui Kai. Yes, man. Uh. It's not mm. the hair, man. It's, it's the, it's the mouth, it's the bil- <laughs> so, so, Jamas would have been one of the first fashion dread then. Yeah, yes, yes. more than nice I know, dread. I know Jamas in, since in the 70s. <laughs> um, Rastafari, uh, talking about Selassie, yeah, right. you know. And Jamas is telling us on national <laughs> radio <laughs> station <laughs> that, that, that you was a, a dread Pui Kai. Pui Kai. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you didn't go off the fresh then. But you never went left the f- greed then of the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamas, you never live in the bush? Well, I never been in the bush like bush, but I <laughs> to go up live with Deuce and live with Clear Area, double little planting and come back down. Because up live here, Clear Area, I think that the house, Mr. Coppel and in Lago, at the supermarket in Lago, the, after Hurricane mm-hmm, David, okay. there was a bond in that house. So we occupied that place, planting, and then... They give us notice to leave that property, but we never wanted to leave. So then they send up the police behind us, and we have to scatter, and we never go back up there and leave all our <laughs> produce that we plant <laughs> up there. So, because the property wasn't our own, so we had to run back down. So you're one of the dreads that, that decided that you're going to live in the bush? So I, I stopped bush, and I decided to stay in the concrete. <laughs> 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 and the concrete nicer because... <laughs> When at home, I eat all my coconut food. I only fish, but right now I enjoying everything that come. And you just bring it on. Just, just talk about it <laughs> and you have eat it. it. I love my 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 black pudding in my mastiff. What black pudding in my mastiff? You you no. love black pudding in, in your my mastiff? mastiff. I squeeze it in it. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are dread that likes black pudding yeah, and man. fishing and sauce. Yeah. My it's God, not sauce. Yeah. The feet or the pig. You like that? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm not so sure I'm here in Jamas. <laughs> I'm not so sure if I'm really, truly. Yeah, here I in agree Jamas. with you, boy. Um, <laughs> Eat your pig. You're hearing the man himself. That is what I'm telling you. I love it. Especially the pink one from Guadalupe. You like the pink one <laughs> with, red, with red beans? With beans. Jamas, Jamas, I, I, want, to, I want you to repeat <laughs> yourself. You are you are dread Pui-Kai. You have your locks on your head. Long locks too. <laughs> Passing my guajam go down. You, you you lived in the in the in the bush. Yes. You planted in the bush. So you were one of the real pure dread of the early days. Yeah. You know the among of you I stay without it? How many years? <laughs> <laughs> How many Thomas years? said that he's eating. I'm um, fishing. Yeah, yes. that's the that the skin of the the, the animal of the of the of the, um, the cow. Of the, the cow. cow. Yeah. Jama says that he is eating black pudding in his mastiff. In his yes. mastiff. And he squeezed. Squeeze it in the mastiff. Squeeze massive. it in the mastiff. He eating chicken. He eating. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. He eating the cord of the of the of the of the of the, of the pig. If it pass, I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> Jama said that he's eating the the feet. A pig feet like that. What about his snow? What about the mouth? That is, your, that is where the soft That's where he gets strong. <laughs> is in the mouth and the feet. Yeah, man. This I agree you, boy. The it's your big snout. Walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Pigs not never kill anybody in this <laughs> <laughs> So, I love it. Jesse Luna, I went to the Seven Days Church. Yes. For almost three years. Yes, yeah, I yeah, 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 you were there too. I know that. So I just not just jammers, you know. I'm a really just person also. Seven days don't eat swine. They don't eat pork. Yes, I used to be there, but I still eat it. They don't <laughs> jammers. <coughs> you as an Adventist, you're not supposed to eat pork. I eat everything. You eat, the man eating everything you hear. Everything. So right now, you think you can stab yourself right now for what? For who? What what, what mischief you doing to yourself? It's food. It's good for you. Yes. Well, I'm yeah. stunned. You can't be stunned. Yeah. So, um, Jammers, why is you in the seven days church? You have in your, your snout. Yes. At least. 
I'm not ashamed to say these things because when I come home with a nice little soup cook, <laughs> little pistol chop up in that. The other day, I will give you a joke. When I come home, I see my son eating pig snout. So I'm happy. So I take my plate, I open that. My dig, I do see in pig snout. I said, but what is that now? I said, Gemma, what happened to put pig snout in my food, man? Tell me every time you have to eat pig snout. <laughs> 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 I tell her, let me tell you something. I vex, you know. I vex. Tell me, you vex for pig snout? But don't, you, don't you let people hear you saying that. You making noise for pig snout? I said, but don't put nothing in a piece you put in my food. Tell me next time you'll get I say, no, man. Don't do that again, man. She can, she can tell that to you. You mean jammers love pig snout? Even making noise for pig snout? Yes, yes man, because like I dig like my plate pig. all below. I don't see anything at all. Like his pig. So I said, I buy, I buy my pongs of pig snout. $14 a pong. It's so expensive now. Wow. If anybody can eat pig snout now. How much a pong? Maybe $13, 12 $14 a pong of pig snout now. And Jamas saying the that... The one from Guadeloupe. And Jamas is saying that he's buying his pig snout. The pink one he likes. pink that. one. The very from Guadeloupe. And it, it, you see the two nose. Right. Two red. Holes, sorry, the two holes of the nose. Red. But but that's what I'm telling you. So when, when someone meet me, they aren't going to be afraid. They know what I need already. They don't know what I to want. To bring your pig snout, man. <laughs> yes. I can remember once I sit in the market by his head enjoying my swine. My souls, a raster man come and tell me, I cannot believe that. I said, but is your money not buying? <laughs> <laughs> what would I hear in there with them fellas now? So I said, I, I don't smoke, I don't smoke marijuana, but I drink. And now I cut down on my drinking, I look like a gentleman those days, and people still vex. So you don't know what to do for people? No, I don't do things for people, I do things for myself. Mm -hmm. To make yourself happy. I, I when I tell them my age, they don't believe me. They find I look like a, like a teenager. You're 62, eh? 62 going to 63 yeah. next year. Wow! So I enjoy all what it have in life. The young skits and them still watching at me. <laughs> the young skits, they yes. still looking at you. They still watching me. <laughs> they, they seen a nice grown up person. Whoa. They should have to educate them about life. Wait, Let them know how to go around. Wow. Then they go in the wrong way. I teach them these things. Wait, I wow. talk to them. I to live a different type of life. Disciplined life. Jammers, you are working on the port. I work at the port for 43 years. Tell us the life of a port man. The life of, at the port was very, very nice. I will tell you straight. I worked 13 years for Dominica Stibidor's company limited. At the port. After that 13 years, I cut back on my salary. That's why my voice was being heard on the radio. And it will still be heard on the radio because... No, you, 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 not you that cut back. You said, I cut back. That's what you said. Who cut you? Well, they cut back. Oh, they, they cut, cut back. back oh, on you, my I salary. I heard you said, I cut back. Well, maybe I do not say it properly, but right. I repeat it now. Yes. I've been cut back on my salary... For many years, going to a child banal, up to now, I, I leave the port. It is over 20-something years now since I, I work under that system where they cut me back. I do not know if it's 49 or 50% from my wages that I was taking home. It was hurting so bad that the little conk I had at the credit union at the time, after digging to it, see brain smiling. I don't worry even though you smile, brain. You have, <laughs> you have a lot of blows for me while I'm talking. You're my knocking mind this, uh, this evening. So it went that way till I retired at the port. And I heard the Prime Minister, Mr. Roosevelt Skerritt, my Prime Minister, he belongs to all of us who don't want to hear it, I will mention it. The Prime Minister of Dominica, Mr. Roosevelt Skerritt, said that it is long overdue that the stibidors and longshoremen deserve something from what that deal. He don't have to give us all at the time, but if he give us something, I don't know what figure they are negotiating on. They have a negotiating team, meeting him at maybe two occasions or three occasions. And I heard him say on DBS News that it is time to give us something. Mr. Prime Minister, 
This coming from the man himself. I meet you at Issa Trading. I speak to you in person. There are bodyguards upon bodyguards. Mr. Prime Minister, they give me a chance to speak to the man. That is my boy, Jammers. You might even know my name better than all you. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell him, see I am working presently. My retirement time, I have to be working. So please, I'm asking you, Mr. Prime Minister, try to put something in place so we could get what due to us so I could leave that security job and relax at my home, enjoying my pension that I've been standing in a workplace presently. I work enough already. I need to relax now. But I'm, I'm top security now at ISA. The brain does come there and laugh me, you know. <laughs> but I, can, I, can tell, I can tell you, though, Jammers, um, um, thank you to Glenn Dover, who himself reached out to me again, because when that decision was taken, I was a port director. If you remember that very clearly. Yes, yes. And, and I know what the facts are. You know. I, I know all of the facts. Um, it's not for um, open ear um, I know. discussion at this time because we are on a different tangent. Yes. So I know what the facts are. Um, but I also want to say that I want to thank um, Glenn Dover, um, who has requested of me uh, to allow the port... Um, men and that of the union to meet with the prime minister. There was a, uh, I was present. There was a, a, a fruitful discussion. I know. Very, very fruitful discussion. I heard about it. It was concluded that um, yes, um, payment would be would be made. Um, what was requested was that the union and the um, port branch would go back and to see exactly what is the value. Um, that um, they can come back and have discussion with the Prime Minister. Um, they were supposed to have met this week. Um, it was not um, forthcoming. I think in the coming week, um, the probability, um, the high probability exists that um, before the Prime Minister goes out of state, that he would see um, the port um, the executive. executive and that of the, of the union um, to put closure to that long outstanding 20 plus years discussion. Yes, about 22, 23 years right now. 20, 21. 21 years, okay. Right. Yes, so that's. So I, I need of it. I need something where I could see, well, today the old man can get a little BB and bring inside and knock a little BB with a little coke in it. I see you love your coke, Mr. Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yes. I do. So yeah. at least I get it, I will relax. My retirement at my home. I'm a homeboy. What, 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 what about Jamas as you talking about the port? What about the port compensation fund? What's, what's up with it? Well, nothing did not come into it. So it is a, a standstill. So I think that they come together to break it, break the fund, and to give those that was there under the phone while it was making. Remember, the phone is part of our wages that was saved for us for when we retire because we didn't have a retirement. Not part of your wages. Some, uh, 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 a percentage a from per, the uh, cargo. Percentage, yes. yes. From the cargo, yes. yes. Some people can explain better than me, but I will put it that way. That's our understanding it. Mm -hmm. So at least we will get something when we're leaving. But still, it didn't come through the way it was after the disown of the salary, everything Kaibos. So everything will be in a special saving, as the general manager say. So that's why it, uh, it may be turned to a monster now. It is big. <laughs> so it's very difficult to was, break it. You, right you, now. you say the port, the port manager? Um, why not the union? Because the union was the one responsible for the port compensation fund. The yes, money but, was coming yes, from you. The, the, the union in charge, but what I'm saying that. If you not contributing to the to the to the phone as the general manager because it have to come from you to go to the phone, that means that no money don't go in the phone for twenty one years. So all the pensioners get what due to them because of a certain percent because they have to remove eighteen percent for the others to get because nothing not coming in to the phone. So let me ask you, Jammers, um, in reference to that same phone. Um, did you get anything from that phone when you retired? Yes, I get something from the phone. Okay, so you're saying that the young, the, the young people who are coming in, 
they are not contributing towards the fund. So if they reach retirement, they won't be getting. That's what you're saying. Yes, they only get from the port authority only. So, from so, Dasper. so are they not members of the union? Well, in those days, um, the union was an agent for payment, um, or the agent not for payment, but the agent for employment. So employment, the union yeah. would have ensured that um, the people that w- would have worked, and from that um, payment that Dominica Stibidors would have taken, I think something like two dollars. Um, from every employee um, that would have worked a boat um, to make sure that that fund grew. And I remember it grew to something like $6 million. Yes. So that's why right now you don't have nothing like what you're thinking of there right now. So it, it's not a giant? or it has, it's, no, big, it's, oh, it's, it's a baby now? It's a baby or a giant? It is a baby sucking breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> why, why the mash up the monster? Isn't, well, isn't 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 that isn't that 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 um, compensation fund um, in the coffers of the of the union? Um, yes. W- isn't the union responsible for the union responsible of for it. payment? Uh huh. For the distribution of payment when you retire. Yes. Right. And um, why wouldn't the union ensure that um, even if the employer does not make that payment? Um, but the payment is made from the, 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 the men who are working from the port. Well, what that was there already, save. They still use it to pay those who are going on pension. So it's coming down. Every time you pay someone, it's coming down. Because for the past time, remember the age group that living, every two years, every one year, someone is living. And, you know, for the amount of years that they work, it's not just $2. So they have to cut back on what they have to get. For others that not haven't lived as yet, that maybe have 10 and maybe 15 years to go, for they could get something because nothing not contributing to it from the high authority, from the the DASPA section. If DASPA was continue putting that two cents, as you say, into the fund, the fund would have grow. So I'm saying to you that in the past, the 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 the, the union was responsible for creating the employment. And the payment was made by the agents. So Dominica Stibidos would it's have been an agent yeah. getting that money um, from the various companies that they would have worked and pay you all. And the, and the, the agent for payment would have given the union that contribution. I'm asking why can the port branch not go through that same negotiation with the, with the, with the employer now the Dominica Port Authority to make that payment towards the union? Well, I think the, the payment still going to Dominica Port Authority. I wouldn't say Dominica Port Authority. I would say DASPA. Mm-hmm. But it's not coming into the union pension fund. It's going to the DASPA pension fund. So which means that when you, when you reach your pension age, DASPA pays your pension to you? Yes. Okay, so, so it's, it's, for me it's, uh, it's balanced because you still receive that compensation that is supposed to be given to you. But it's the just new that workers, per, just that well it, it goes for the new workers. The new workers that come in now employed by Dasper. So they only will get compensation from Dasper and not from our. Because they do not work under the system why it was which, there which, for them which, which to is read. fair, which is fair. Yes. Which is fair because yes. you are you are, you were not part of the system mm. when it established. Yes. Now you're a new employee and your new employer now is the one responsible for the compensation. Yes. So when you're retired, your new co- your new employer has the right to pay you that compensation, not that of the of the union. Not of the union. So so you as an old worker, you would have gotten fortunately, I'm sure, two sets of um, retired money. Yes. You would have gotten one from from Dominica Stibidos, and you would have received one from um, wow 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 no one from Dominica one from Dominica one from Sport Authority Sport Authority and the other one from from wow yes. So you're much more fortunate than the present one. Um, that coming right now. But I'm, I'm sure, though, um, Jammers, that in, in reference to what you just discussed in re- um, the Prime Minister wanting to ensure that you all receive payment, that will happen very soon. Uh, I'm hoping so. I, I think I need that before God tell me, rest in peace. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. Yeah. Because all right. people resting in peace too early. <laughs> yes, I, I know. I'm aware. No, no Jammers, you, you can tell us also, because you worked on the port, you can tell us the life of a port man. Repeat that question. I said you can tell us the life of a port man on the port, working on the port. What, do, what, what does a port worker do on the port? A port worker, it have different sections at the port. We are distributors who work on board of the ship 
and we have the longshoremen who work on the jetty. We, we all carry different rate of pay. We have the operators on shore for forklift, um, the trailer truck, heavy equipment to carry the container, and the, the boat now, we have the stevedores, crane men. They have a different rate from the ordinary men. We have the tally clocks on board. We have tally clocks on shore. Every boat, if it's a two gang, we have two, two tally clocks. We have about six crane men. For, we have crane men work for a certain time to need to change over when they're tired or they want to use the washroom. So you have an extra crane man there, and what is his name again? I, I forget, a gangway man. So in the two crane men, you have a gangway man to direct the crane man where the container is so he could come down with the crane, hook for us to hook. Remember, we have four men hooking the containers because we have five ordinary men hook on board. So we have one extra man in case a man want to go to the washroom, a next man feeling to hold because it's four hooks you have to hold to hook the container to go ashore. So when the crane lift up that container from the ship, it take it up to the air and land it on shore. The men on shore maybe have about six men, I think there are one more than us, to control the container to rest it on the truck because it cannot fit on the truck just like that. You need men to hold the containers and to let it rest and then they use the forklift with a cradle to send up four men to unhook it. But the only bad time we have is during them time here when Christmas is coming, when they say surging. When they say surging, it's more difficult to work at the port. The work is very, very dangerous during them time to go to January because of the, the way this, the boat will be rocking. Why is you hooking the container? If you let go a hook, you can damage somebody. You have to make sure if this is bad, according to the weather at the time, when you hold the hooks, all men have to hook together. If free hook, hook, and the other man couldn't control this hook, and it escaped, you have to fly for cover. Because the hook will be going left, right, and center, and you have to open your eyes. It's a risk working down there. You have to be focused while you work at the port. Because you cannot be gazing around when, when them type of weather is on. It's a very dangerous work. It's a highly paid work. So that's why I'm calling for people in authority to respect the port workers because if we cannot put down the container during them time for Christmas, there'll be no toys for you to play. There'll be no eat and drink like apple and grapes. That's why you have to respect stevedores and longshoremen. We're, not, uh, we're going down there, yes, most of us mightn't have that type of education, but we are experienced that we have working at the port for many years. Not anybody could just come there and think that they could relax because I see feathers get hurt, hook by the hook, send them over, tumble them how many times, break their leg, forklift squeeze feathers. It, it, it just a, a kind of work. It's very nice indeed because some people think that it's easy when the weather is calm. You hold the hook, you can walk, you can even close your eyes to hook a container. But when there is surge, that is really you have to use your head and your experience that you have to hold on time and move quick and hook quick. So time you hook, the crane man take the slack off, the container stays steady. If you want to stay on the container for him to bring you up, he bring you up. If you want to take the ladder for it to go up, you use the ladder. But most men, when it hook, they want to use the container to drag them up to the, the height of the container, and then the container go out to shore for the men on shore, the longshoremen, to get it, to put it on, on the truck. And why is this is bad, on shore more dangerous because they're in a close-up cradle where they don't have anywhere to run. That's why most men hurt on shore because the, it's so narrow that when the hook let go and it's swinging, it can take the crater and shall the crater. So our work is a high risk work. So that's why you see stevedores all over the world is highly paid. So that's why they have to respect stevedores and longshoremen because at a certain time when World Cruel Music was going on and they wanted their stage and their lights, we had to risk our men to climb how many heights. 
to hook that container, to get it to come down on the jetty without any chalk on the jetty. When it land on the jetty, you could see smoke come from the ground because of the, the wave and the control. And you had to put your best crane man up there to handle that container. And your best man to unhook it when it come on shore. When it on shore, it's okay for us. And rest it on the chalk. We time in the wave. We time in the swing. And you have to get yourself together. Well, fellas, no. And you unhook. And you hold it. If it pulled in you, the crane man will try to bring it up quick. Sometimes it do go up quick. You have to be docking. You have to run down the container. Maybe you could hurt yourself jumping from the, from the height of the container to the jetty. So it's very, very dangerous. Well, they should be respecting that work that we're doing. It's not an easy work. The money for now is not reasonable, I would say it. And Mr. Prime Minister, who in charge, try to do something for stupidos and longshoremen because they will work down there for the rest of their life. And if they don't put their money into use or stay hungry, they will never have anything at all. Believe me. No, are you all insured? We we kind of ins the insurance that we have done there. I don't know for now. When I was there, is a medical insurance. We don't need a medical insurance at the port. We need we need uh, uh what kind of insurance? Life insurance. Uh, accident insurance. Accidental. That is the word. Accidental insurance. That's what we need down there, and not a medical insurance. So when you get hurt down there, even in case you die or something, your family could own something, not because of you die, the, but just because of your insurance could do, contribute something to your family of your death or of your sickness or what happened. Has your, in, has your union has that type of negotiation or discussion um, with em, your employer? Well, is, I is, every, is every one of your team members um, in sync with what you're saying? Well, I bring that up many times in meeting, especially when Mr. Lee Binwa was there, Zaboka, everybody knows him as Zaboka. I used to talk on the behalf and bring up certain things, but as if well. In those days there after Zabuka die, um, come out there, not die, come out there, Mr. Mel Shanem take over and they were saying that we we can speak now because the bigger heads that was there is not there now. Bring in your grievances, and when you bring in what you bring in, some people still don't like what you say. Because I always wanted an accidental insurance, showing that if anything happened to their tomorrow, you could own something. People come to work sometime, and their mind have to be there. Even your problem you had at your home, when you come at the port, you have to leave it at your home. Because it is very dangerous down there. The day you think... Something not going to happen. That's why you have to be focused at all time when you work in at the port. That section especially. Some people don't know it up other section, but it up other section. It up the custom, it up port and maintenance and all these things down there. So our section is the most dangerous section and the lowest paid presently at the port. So so it's a good thing that you, you made mention, Jammers, of um the work that you that you do, how hazardous is the job? Um, also, the fact that you you think that you require much more pay, um, but I'm very happy the way that you're able to to describe um, what the job on the port is, um, and to maybe call on the necessary authority, not not just necessarily the government or the Dominica Port Authority, but you have other agents like the like the business places because the job has been done for the business places. So I'm very happy that that you are able to describe the kind of work that 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 is taking place at the port. More so that of the surge that you made mention of because in the past we heard people made mention that oh the surge is is on and so you cannot get the, the, the boat. I think early early la or late last year, early this year, um when there was this issue of the fuel wheel that it was said to us that, hey, we cannot work because the surge and, and normal persons did not believe. And I'm, I'm happy the way that you're able to describe it, um, Jammers. Yeah, they have to believe that because <laughs> certain time boats come here, it have to go back. When, when we tie the boat at the port, we have to untie it because it, the boat mashing up the, the siding of the jetty. So we have to un, 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 untie the boat, let the boat go. The boat have to go back to another port 
till we able to come back another time or put down the cargo in another port that the uh, next boat pass pick it up and bring it back to Dominica. So if they don't want to believe, sometimes the agent think that we don't want to work. In other words, don't work. The boat cannot work because of the condition of the sea. And the boat have to go back with the general cargo. And the next boat will pick it up or it will come back the next time with more containers so you can put two gangs to work the boat at that time. The thing about the jammers is that a lot of people um, are of the view um, that they see the sea calm. So how you see they surge? But you are on the boat and you, you are actually feeling what is happening. Sometimes you, you think the sea is calm, but up underground swells, that's what people don't know. It's working down there for you to understand. Underground swell have the boat moving because of the weight it have on it. It rocked the boat more than when the sea is surging also. So when you see the boat come there, like a, a car boat come in, a car boat cannot come in by the port on its own, you know. You know that, Cecil? No, I'm, I'm learning that for the very first time. You need a talk with it. i glad you know that, Brain. It must get a talk to bring it into the jetty. The little breeze you feel in there, happy the car boat staying out. You will spend the whole day trying to bring it in if it never come in. See the tourist ship on them, they have a ball, a ball flush, some kind of name so they call it. They could drift in to the jetty at the cruise ship berth there. See how the boat coming in from side? You must take a look at it. Go and see for yourself the amount of cheer it making when it's coming in from the side. It don't need a talk to bring it there. It don't need a, 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 a badge or a lighter or anything to bring it there. It's coming by its own. And it's still dangerous working in the cruise ship area also to get the, the, the rope to tie on the stay for the, to steady the, the top ship. So the, the, the sea work, marine work on a whole, is very dangerous because you deal with water. If you get a container to come back to you, it's either you fall on the boat and you get yourself killed. Either you jump in the water and you survive. Because it had a, a, a gizbo that come in here about 45 years ago and they tell us why they do not come. It's one of the workers that fall from a height of the container and die. So why does your family think that you're on a boat working you die, that will push you back to your country. So it's a high-risk job, and I'm glad you mentioned the agents and them out oh there. I hope they're listening. You're not just bringing in your container. It is a very difficult time sometimes for the stevedores and longshoremen, them season there, to handle the containers. So when a ship go back with the container, they mustn't complain because they're not in the kitchen, they're not feeling it. It's the members of stevedores long show men that feeling it they know it sometimes they say yes let me take a chance mr badwell we're going up on that we go going to send down the containers and we'll go and we'll try our best to send them down but that don't means it's not dangerous but we just have to do it with timing it, when you see four hooks coming a 40 length of hook cable with hooks and it coming in with a speed and it have to hit on the siding of the boat or the container. When it reached there, the whole four men had to go and hold it. It dragged you west, it dragged you east, it dragged you center. All that time you're trying to on my way the four long cables. And the longer it is, is more time it take. The forty footer or the twenty footer, it, it more difficult again when you're going to hook it because it's so short. But with the 40 length, it can wrap you around easier because of the length of it. So that's why you have to hold with power. You don't need no fra fra man there at that time. You need man that can hold and hold the strain because if you let go, you're going to damage your, fel your fellow men. They must go down there and see for themselves, experience it when the, when the boat is working. Bring certain agent down there. Let them sit down and watch what really taking place down there. So it, 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 it is a very nice time working. You enjoy your work because anything you do, you have to enjoy it because I was really down there. I enjoy, I start in the yard working. When my father leave, I take my father's place. And I live right now. So I'm glad for all those who are there right now. I'm glad Mr. Badwell could employ who he won when it was a one-sided. We only Wahoo could employ 
and higher and fire. It was too one-sided. But now it too one-sided. We, though we could send men from the union, because the union have men they have from fathers who work there, want their son to work. So Mr. Bad will have to be equal, take some from Wahoo, take some from his side. And that's how I like to see things work for us in this country. Yeah, because once upon a time, Jammers, uh, what, what was happening is, once your father worked on the port, um, most likely if you wish to go to the port, your job is already made for you. Yes, but I just said it. Yes. So from my father, I replaced my father. And even though I do not replace my father, my father will have the authority to put a brother there before me, or that other father had a brother there, or three, four sons there, and wife's daughters. It was too, you see, you have to be straightforward. It was too one-sided. Like, the bigger boys could have four or five children there, and the smaller boys don't even have one son or half a son at the port. So that's why you see, all these things are going on right now. I wouldn't blame, give government full blame, because we have to take our blame also. Because we had it running our way and think that these are the boys' things. So things change right now. The effect is on those who dare that never enjoy anything. It fall on and that it shouldn't be that way. Once upon a time, the boys would not work and but get their monies. All these things, uh, things we, we don't know about secretly. When you hear a man have to draw for seven boats and he never work a boat and all these things. These things, people talking about it, they have it secret. But the agent and them know everything. So when you think that it's there for all you because all you're employing and all you're doing things, all you don't need to work to draw for a boat, how long you think these things will go on? It have changes in life. It's just like we work in so many uh, supermarkets, you're the manager, supervisor, who you are. Tomorrow, you, you mightn't be there. You have another supervisor. So you have to do good for good name when you leave there. For those who come, could tell you, well, Mr. Cecil Joseph was there in charge of that business place and he done so well. I hope... That you'll come and continue where Mr. Cecil Joseph live. You don't, when Cecil Joseph leave or Brain leave, there's a bad name after him. You want something good behind your name. And that's what I always speaking about. And my people will always know that I'm talking on, I talk on the beer for the port for a long while. But it, it didn't fall on ears that was understanding me. So right now, since in the time of Mr. Pierre Charles, the negotiation, since before Mr. Pierre Charles and Edison James, they had to cut back on the stimulus and longshoremen. I'm happy that you're saying that, Jammers. I'm, I'm very happy that you're saying that because I, I tried to explain uh, to some people um, in 1997 when the actual changes was actually being discussed and negotiating. Um, you, you had this guy, uh, Mr. Burton, as the chairman of the of the port under the... Um, the, the, the administration of Mr. Edison James and they were talking about the whole issue of hatch that those days the, the hatch was going to be yeah, was going back. to be was going to be was going to was going to end and they were talking about containerizing boats and to have the gangs smaller and and that um men would have had to work less hours so that has been a discussion that has been ensued a very very long time ago um fortunately or unfortunately um, in 2001, that the, the change had to be made from the various discussions that were held with the Before. Dominicus Tibidos and also that of, um, of the union. And that is why in the negotiation, you would have heard a very popular term, as is. You know, that popular term, as is, was maintained, which meant that the work that you all continue were doing, that the, you would have continued that service to the union to the to the port authority and and so i am happy that you are you are given the opportunity to to give to give some um enlightenment on the whole issue of, of the port um 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 i'm jammers yeah because many years now we deal and most of us not benefiting the way we're supposed to benefit from the from the port authority yes since under Edison James government that they wanted to cut back under Pierre Charles also. I cannot really recall Pierre Charles do anything about it, but Pierre Charles leave it as it is, but Pierre no, Charles did no, not stay no. into office, but under Roosevelt's carrot, the Prime Minister, that that's where the cutback come in. No, no, we I, because I, I, I have been I was on the port board from two thousand 
So I, I know Mr. The, uh, on the on the Mr. Watty. Um, no, Mr. Elwin was the manager then. I mean the man from Postmouth. Yes, Walters, uh, Mr. Walters. Mr. Walters was the chairman. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Walters was the chairman, and 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 by virtue of our first meeting, we had information that was leading to us as as a board um, into the right direction, and we didn't see the need because a new administration came in that we would have turned over the decision of the previous board um, because the board is the board. Um, the board would have looked at the, the necessary work to be done. And, and um, I was happy um, that the very first, I think, first year that we had the chairman of Mr. Of Mr. Of Mr. Burton and then Mr. Waters came in. But, but the point is, um, 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 Jammers, is you are able to really help to enlighten um, a greater public as to some of the things that you you think that are burning uh, or burning desire that needs to be changed and and I, i'm happy that you are able to speak about it because i know that some people would have been of the view that you shouldn't get here because i'm going to ask you the tough questions <laughs> <laughs> that is not a tough question the, the thing is when this question come forward it's not a, a thing that we people don't know about is a it's something that is existing for years so right now, if the question come up, if I cannot answer it the way I should answer, let them come in my place. Don't meet me and tell me anything. I wouldn't answer them. Come here and describe it better than me. Because they know one set who was working all little boats as four man, paying who they want, pick their gang how they want, and others not getting anything from it. They know these things. It have a time these things will stop. And it stopped but not the way I expect it to stop because for 21 years, I didn't really make anything. At that time, I, on the Stibidors, I come out plenty better for my 13 years I worked at Dominica because, Stibidors because you had longer, company. Because you had longer hours working. Um, not about to... longer hours. Not about longer hours. In a way that I would say so because we was getting wrong the clock like your time and your half when you work into ordinary, you go into your time and half. When you go into 12 o'clock at the night, you get your double time. Double time. So your, your money was well set there at that time. Isn't that, isn't that still existing when, when you work a ship beyond um, midnight that you get double, double time? You have to work midnight to get double time. Right, I'm saying so it still exists. Yes, it still it's, exists. it's just that, as, as I said, um, in the 14 years that you would have worked in the early days, that you would have worked longer hours because longer. you had to deal with the issue of the crane having to take um, cargo from the hatch. Um, you, have had, you would have had to do much more work to put together the, the cargo on a pallet or two um, so that it can get out from the hatch and onto, uh, onto the, onto the, um, onto the um, stibidor side. Well, uh, and we still we still handling pallets from the the ship from from the United Kingdom, the, yes. the Gisborne. Some of them, yeah. Because yeah. The, but, it are palletized cargo still, yeah, but yes. not as no, not as before yeah. because everything now containerized. Okay, let's go, let's go to the to the telephone. Good evening to you, caller. <coughs> Hi, good evening, sir, sir. Good evening. Hi, what's up? I'm fine. But, mm. Uh, it's me, you know, it's your cause, man. It has a cause to find, to dig up jammers, and uh, it's a good discussion going on with him, you know. So, I, I, uh, I'm listening. He left already. He just called to dig up jammers because he's very, <laughs> I know, I know. very, very interested. <laughs> Let me, uh, let's go back to the telephone yeah. quickly. Let's go back to the telephone. Good evening to you, caller. Yes, sir. I work on the port as a stevedo, I work as a longshoreman, and as a sailor, and it's nothing easy. I could tell you that the most dangerous place to work is on, is on the port or on a ship. Or a sailor man on a ship, the man on a boat. And with facing a hurricane at three days, going for a hurricane, it was nothing so. So all work on the sea is dangerous. I support you 100%, yes. Yeah, 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 because I tell you, I go for a hurricane for three days going up to England, and it was nothing so. We had to dive out and go to Greenland just to avoid, because the ship was 20, going 20 to knots, you know. But when it was brick, 
is over the ship right away. No one could look on the stove, nothing at all. It was just biscuit and milk, and no food could look So when you call on the sea, that is why you see the, the wages have to be high, because it's dangerous. I know. Yeah. And you know talking to Jamas. I know, I know. All right. Yeah. No, em- so. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because it has ships that come into Dominica from England that disappear underwater. Containers offload from the ship, and the ship spend how many days? They even meet some uh, somebody still alive into the ship. Yeah, they, they get the ship, they get the container, they, they do what they have to do, and the and the boat come back upon the water. Remember, it have wave out there when the boat is traveling. It is like, just like a toy boat. It's like a toy for the wave. It pitch it all the way to want to go. Wave coming above the ship. Don't matter how tall you see the the ship is. Because when you see wave out there, it's more dangerous when it meets a ship out there than when it meets it ashore, you know. Because it's just like nobody own it. The wave that have it going up and down, pitching it there, pitching it there, bring it down to the ground, bring it back up. Underwater come back up. Underwater when it cannot take again. If you do if the boat do not seal properly, because most boats now, their, their windscreen and their siding, the type of glass they have, it cannot burst so easy. So even though it go underwater, it will always come back up. But if they lost, most of its containers will unlatch because of the bad sea. We lost a lot of containers that come into Dominica. And they know that. So the, the, the sea is not a, a, a easy work. So as as, Ms., as Muko was saying there, he worked on the sea. We had to divert to other land because... When hurricane is coming, that is a usual thing all boats do because they have to find a place to dock when it's hurricane. So if you come into a Dominica, they have to go somewhere else where they know that it's, it wouldn't be able to take them before they, they reach to Dominica. So best they go back where they come from than they come into Dominica. So it's very dangerous out there. And I'm happy that we could speak on it for a while and... I know I'll get a lot of leaks out there from my members and non-members because they do not want to hear this type of... Um, Revelations. Revelation, revelation. And it's the truth. The truth always the truth. But, but Jamas, would you say that the leadership on the port, your, your, the bent before in terms of leadership, how would you compare them with the leadership today? The leadership right now, what, what are you talking about, Wawu? I'm talking about like men like Zaboka, Melchor, Alvin, these guys. These guys were solid. Than those men you have There was now. no nonsense, man. I don't think anybody could play with these fellas. But what we get right now, they cannot negotiate on our behalf. Because Zaboka and them, they're not time for negotiation, you know. You have to act. And they act now. They decide to close the port. Nobody not to go to work. Nobody is going to take their fastness and go open gate and or go on top of a ship, you know. Because right now, a man can just call sailors from Portsmouth and say, oh, I need two crane men to come up because the stupid has decided not going to work and I will take tail cutters to, to offload the boat. These things happen. Why we decide we're not working under the the, the fresh fellas we had, like Herrick Augustus and Michael Charles and these fellas. So then, the gist boat now, they have restriction, where they couldn't work the gist boat because they're not allowed on that ship. So that is how things, international laws work. So it have ship where they think that is our men who come to work, but with the gist boat, you have to sign in and sign out. You don't, you're not just going up on a ship, you know. You have to make sure your name is written for you to go on that ship. So everything changes around now in the world. Any ship are coming into Dominica, you have to show them your men that is going up on the ship. So, so they have a list of names. They have a manifest with the names of the guys. Yes. Okay. And they still have the manifest for the boat. For the for the for the foreman, and he had to able to read plan. It is like a plan of a house where your content is located on the boat. You're not just gonna look for number. It is there written already. So you have to follow the direction, and we tell you 
At the back, they have seven containers for Dominica. Here have two. They have one in the hatch, have the rest of the containers. You have to be able to read the plan. You put the plan and you watch the boat and you know exactly where your containers are. But not anybody could do it. So you have to train to do these things. Well, Jammers, tonight you have given us a lot of food for thought and I'm sure that many people that are listening um, are happy that you could bring some kind of information um, that is required, especially talking about the life of the portman. Yeah, but, but before he goes, I had I had to take him on. I know that. You couldn't just go like that, brother. I know. C-131. Rolling down the strip. Go on. Airborne daddy gonna take a little trip. You hook up, buckle up, you shut it to the door. You jump right out on the Concord 4. And if my parachute don't open wide, I got another one by my side. And if this one don't open wide, pick me up in the countryside. And if I die in the old jump zone, just box me up and send me home. I want to be that airborne ranger, living the life of guts and danger. Airborne. Ranger. Thank you, Jamas. Yeah, man. This is the man himself, <laughs> man. They call me the ladies' man also. <laughs> I have so many names. I don't know which one to carry. <laughs> Jamas, I can tell you that you have proven those who may not have wanted to be here tonight. You have done a fantastic <laughs> job. You have excelled beyond my expectation um, in terms of the kind of information that you actually brought forward to us and to the listening public. Well, Cecil, I would like to say thank you for having me here. And I, as they say, the other side, you are invited not to be afraid. Cecil is a human being just as you. The brain is a human being just as you. So when you get your invitation to come to DBS Radio the Nation Station, you have to come. Don't be a coward. And Brin will tell that to you. Don't be soft as marshmallow. Because <laughs> Brin, they used to call him marshmallow. I like to see, I like to dig up my lady at home, Gemma, and my little Kai Kai, and my little bra, um, um, What's her name again? At Isa Trading. Um, oh, yeah, all your fans at Isa. All my fans. I know they're listening, Jamas. Yes. Because they tell me they're going to listen tonight. And I sure they're listening. Donna Summer. All of them is listening. And I'm glad to be here tonight on the behalf of my people of this country and bring my history, what I know, who know better. And would like to see may God continue to bless us in this country. Pray every day of your life for things to be better for us, not to rejoice of everything that go on for, or wait for something to happen and for us to, for us to be rejoicing. We want us to be better, no matter which government will come here to govern the country. Pray for good things to happen for us and for our future generation to come. Thank you very much, Mr. Cecil Joseph and the man Brain for Christabel. Thank you, Jamas. <laughs> and Jamas, believe you me, I feel proud of you knowing that you're my friend, knowing that we, we are both from a community that adopted us, um, knowing that that adoption um, was able to allow us to have an independent mind and uh, to make people know of our views. So your views are very strong. My views are very strong. And sometimes people misunderstand our intention. But our intention or intentions have always been very pure. So sometimes when I hear jammers and people say, but ja, I say, no, 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 no. Just listen. Listen to what you're not hearing. And what you're not hearing is that's what jammers is, jammers is asking for. So tonight, jammers was able to get the opportunity on the LACO program who gave us all of his lack of life and in conclusion spoke on a matter that he feels that as, as a retiree that he would like to be compensated and I think he, that the was opportunity good. and let me and all, let me also thank his sister Christabel who gave us a great insight 
into life in River Street. I think she added a lot of value to our discussion tonight. Thank you, Christabel, for coming on and uh, giving us that, you know, real historical aspect of River Street. And, and Jammers, there is someone um, um, who is in a, a high position and said that great program, Cecil. Um, for that program to have been so good, it had to come from, from you, Jammers. And another person said, uh, someone in the, in, in the United States says, wow. That means that the person is actually complimenting you um, on that. Um, so, so it's important. Someone said um, the accident insurance that he's asking for, it has to be given by the employer and his local union. It is good to have health and medical insurance and a life insurance policy is good to have as well. So there are a few people that are actually giving their, their comments. And um, uh, someone in Canada said that they couldn't get you tonight, Jammers. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Shalom. Cecil asked Jammers if he still <laughs> has Biosh connection. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my sweetheart is from Biosh. <laughs> I mean, that shall be there. Jamas said yes. That person was trying to pull your foot, man. <laughs> yeah, but, huh? That person being yeah. human, Jamas. A number of people <laughs> sent, sent me WhatsApp, you know, and I just felt I, I, I had to. With a few. Uh, yes. Another person said, an excellent one again. Unassuming guy. Heard that, Jamas? You are yeah. unassuming guy. He must move away. From bad energy, I will repeat the word. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know already. I was reading what the person has sent me. Yes. Um, but I will repeat the last. I part. know, I you know exactly what. Um, <laughs> but but I, I just want to say, Jamas, it's not about bad energy. And as I as I rightly said, yeah, that we have different views on on various matters. What is dangerous is when you are given the explanation of um your views or when you're given. Um, correction of your views um, we should be able to disagree to agree at, at the end but jammers I, I want to say thank you so very much i'm sure all of barvisit is listening um, because we had this promo all week um, by the way before you came what was the consensus of your fans what is it i was asking um, all week we have been advertising this program what was the consensus of your of your fans? Did they say to you, Jammers, I'm hearing that you're going to DBS Radio. Congratulations. Well, I will tell you straight, at work, Blanche, Shiva, all of them, they were excited. Walking on the street, I never expect someone to know that I'm going on DBS Radio. I never know it's going to be advertised. Stephen Monjury, first person in work. I'm Jammers, I hear Brain and Cecil Joseph. But when you go there, speak the truth. <laughs> that what Stephen Monjury tell me. I don't mm. even know Stephen Monjury. I know Stephen very well. Well, so he tell me, speak the truth when I go there. And I know when he come and buy, he going to tell me I speak the truth. Because mm -hmm. he, he has a worker at the port also into Tilkit. He and his brother, Monjury. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy, as I tell you, to get the opportunity here tonight with the big man, Brain, from Stephen Street. Because my water have to pass down his way to let out. We didn't have to let out on church, uh, church Lane. So I know Ad, um, Adam's a long, long time. It's not because he make his name through his educational um, education job, but I, we know each other. And Mr. Adam's a long, long time. He's for that like khaki short pants. <laughs> 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 so right now I would say thanks and praise because I don't really say everything what I know because because we used to have our cricket playing by Alan Caesar also on the side. Our balls was Kanishantin. We used to pong it and have our bat and it used to go into the garage. And when they go into the garage, Mr. Alan Caesar collect them. We have a whole tin of balls, but it's Kanishantin balls. When you catch it, it will cut your palm of your hand. That was our ball by the riverside playing cricket next to the blast, blacksmith place. I saw Brain know, Brain know there because to pass all on the wall. 
by Riverside to go <laughs> by 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 Joe Milley. <laughs> Joe Miller, the big bap tree in River Street. I know, I know. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you again, Mr. Cecil Joseph, for being here tonight. Thank, thank you. you again, Jamas, and thank God you. bless you. Blessed evening. Yeah. And have a good week. I'm sure tomorrow when you go to Isa Trading, yeah. um, I know that everybody at Isa is going to um compliment you. They're going to give you uh, an applause yeah. um, for a job well done. Well I will done. give you A+. Plus. Yeah. You, you, why I'm giving you A+, plus, you were able to take the opportunity to talk of an issue that you want the rest of Dominica to have a better understanding of, and that is the issue of the port compensation. I'm happy that you're able to do that. I was also happy or happier to take note of what you said in reference to the surgeon C that many of us laymen have no understanding um, in reference to the work that has to be done to ensure that your safety is first before you are actually thinking of the dollars, before you're actually thinking of working the ship. And uh, it speaks volume of your experience, of the stevedores and longshoremen experience, and what you said here tonight is a learning example for many, many of us. So thank you again, and uh, God bless you. Have a nice week, Have man. A nice week. Yes, God bless you also. All right. Bye bye.
Well, 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 well. Um, Brain, another fantastic, fantastic, really, truly fantastic interview. Uh, well, I should say discussion um, with Jammers. Yeah, it was brilliant. I gave him an A++. Yes. For his honesty, you know. Let's see what this person has to say yeah. to us. Uh, let's listen to this person. Good evening to you, caller. Hey, good evening. Good yes. Hey, hey. Yes. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Let me tell you, I come back on you with that same thing of the Kingsville, Melvin, Battery Road. Cecil, doctor, doctor, remember? I have talking point tomorrow, so call me tomorrow on talking point on that matter. Okay? Tomorrow morning, please. Just call me on that, please. Let's, let's. Yeah, because All right, call. That, well, no, call well, me on talking point. No, call me on talking point tomorrow morning. We will discuss that matter tomorrow morning on talking point. Okay? I will, that, I will that get some time to do Yeah, please. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, um, caller. Yes, you said you gave him an A plus. A plus. Yeah, we yeah. were very good, very um, informative, mm -hmm. uh, very historical. We had humor. We had. A lot of intrigue in it. I understood better the life of a man on the port and what his job entails. And I got it from Jammers. And so it was a fantastic program. Yes, it, it was. You know, definitely was a fantastic program. Um, I was very much impressed. And someone said, I'm, I was very impressed and surprised by Jammers' discussion. Great program once again. Right, great program. And... Um, Jammers, um, superb one, really, really good. Um, someone said, Cecil, you are getting better. Cecil, you are getting better, af a better program after program. Um, all right, so it was, it was good. And what I like again was the using the vocabulary of the Laku, yes, Quiji. yes, you know. Uh, and some of the language that even his sister used, mm -hmm. uh, using the local language. And what was more revealing, again, was the different ways you can get as far as Newton. And you did not even know as far as uh, Kingsdale through the Laku shortcuts. And she knew quite a bit of it. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. That was fantastic. And that, that's important for, for the present generation to be aware of. And even the older generation in the sense that uh, some of us would have stayed, stayed in our locality, in our local setting. Um, like when they mention about um, from the from the um, Newton Savannah, I did not know further. Yeah. You know? Uh, and she knew. And she knew. So, right. so that's, that's of great importance for right. us to, to... So that was a girl who journeyed through those lacos. Yes. And not only that, she gave we us... We still only hear girls are cowards. Yeah. And she <laughs> told us about um, during the days... Uh, where the girls would gather on the big step by the jigs mm -hmm. and gather to talk. And when their boyfriends were coming, the things that they would say in terms mm -hmm. of getting mm -hmm. to their homes. You know, so mm -hmm. very interesting. Mm -hmm. because you could see she lived the life of the Laku as well. Yes, and that, that's good, you know. Um, that's very that, good. That's really good that um, our own uh, can tell us, you know, of the life that they lived. Mm -hmm. um, Jamas was very clear of the kind of life that he, he lived and mm -hmm. the experience uh, that he gathered um talking of all types of things that actually transpired in the in in the heart of of, of Rosu. he spoke about um, violence he spoke about gangs he spoke about fights he spoke of the good the good days good you know, days education you know, well, very nice you know, it was nice. just really really and he gave us a clear clear indication that he he lived the life sports you right. know, um, recreation. Cricket. Yeah, it, it, was, it was really, really good. And, and seeing that you're also a good friend of him, mm -hmm. he's growing up in the area, mm -hmm. Bath mm -hmm. Estate, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's quite an interesting thing. I, I enjoy the program. I really too. interesting. Yeah. Coming from a man who lived the life. Yeah. What knew you have the, of this week? Well, basically, I would like to just make mention of a few things. Cultivating tomorrow's men. International Men's Day was observed on November the 19th, 2023. Presenting Dominicans with a timely opportunity to reflect on the importance and transition from boyhood to manhood. Very important for all men. How do you transit from boyhood to manhood in a changing environment? Uh, what is the focus? Are we really losing our men? So on Wednesday, I was asking myself, are men being 
are the testicles being removed without we are aware of it? Are they really taking their role seriously? Because basically, when you look at our men, and, and Jammer's made mention of his community as well, of Bath Estate, uh, in terms of the attitude to getting rich quickly and not spending time and reflect upon your life. Uh, and so, you know, it was a very critical thing he said, uh, because you could see that the men were being nurtured for their responsibility as men. And men's day pass, and as though, Cecil, I asked myself, but if it was women's day, everybody would know. And I even found that some of the radio stations did not highlight men's day at all, as they did just put it under the carpet. And I'm very, I'm very concerned about it. All right? At the core of empowering men in our society is a critical question. What is the fundamental element that ensures the empowerment? The answer is clear. A comprehensive approach is indispicable and education stands out as a potential in initial step. You, you see, you see, you see, Brain, I, 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 I don't think these are always fair assessments on men. They are speaking of between 1% to 2% of the loud negativeness of the men. But the 98 to 99% um, of the good men who are actually contributing to the society, we play a blind eye to it. Um, there are good men who ensure that their children are seen about, ensure that the, the children get good education, Ensure that they see their the, the, the son or the, the girl um, is involved in sports and community work. There are good men who ensure that the family is taken care of. But men, we are macho in the wrong sense. We are macho maybe about the female sex. But we are not being macho and speak loudly of who we are. And the success that we have been able to, 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 to talk about. Maybe because we have seen in the past 60 years, or I should say, from the 60s, we saw the women making requests of the United Nations and other international organizations to give them much more autonomy and much more power to do what is requested of them and they talk about equal pay and, and equal this and equal that and so women have come a long way women have come a long way to achieve maybe 85 percent of what they have been talking about from way back of the 60s and so men in the in our complacency we have not been able to look at our success story or we don't speak of our success story but you know what we are engaging ourselves in talking about the person that is contributing towards the one percent negative and, and and i don't think um it is totally accurate um to 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 live in the minds of many that the present generation of men are not contributing sufficiently enough. They are doing it. They are not doing it as they did it in the 60s because we saw now that the women are, are making headway. So we have seen this year in, in our, in our um, CXC, we have almost seen the balance of almost 50-50 of the achievement of men and women. Um, also in the assessment, the, the, the uh, assessment program, um, we have also seen an increased number um, of um, boys mm -hmm. and their contribution. So, so while, we, while we focus and we see on the papers of the negativeness of, of, the, of the men in our society, we must take some time 
and look at the positive of the man? Well, I, I share some of your points, but the critical aspect of it, when we're thinking about men, are men being marginalized, and sometimes we do not want to keep the conversation in the society, but I've heard many women say, and very professional women saying that as well, I've heard lawyers say it, I've heard teachers say it, I've heard medical professionals who are women saying it, but where am I going to find a, a man for my daughter within the Dominican space? And it makes me say to myself, but growing up in the 1960s and in the 1970s, that was not the conversation because there were men they felt within the Dominican society, most of the men had the aptitude to be able to... Um, stand up in terms of the profession or in terms of the education, in terms of the attitude towards getting married to their daughter. They felt that. And I, I never heard that conversation going on during my time. Why is the conversation taking place with the dominator society now? Uh, maybe because in, in those days of the 50s and 60s, even maybe the 70s, that the aspiration of men was totally different from that of the woman. Um, in the 70s, we, we know that the full access of education that women are now achieving wasn't. Um, you would find that out of every 10 person that went and study in those days, let's, let's look at Dominica, we can almost say that three of it would be women and seven of it would be men. So the aspiration of men um, in that period was, was different. And as I said, because the women today are advocating for um, equality, which is their right, uh, equality in terms of job quality, in terms of um, job fitment, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of salaries to the job that they perform. Because once upon a time, you'll find that someone who is an accountant, mm -hmm. if that person would have been a female, the female would have received less pay than that of of a male yeah that goes on. so 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 that today is not no more existing so you find that the narrative of the of the woman um in terms of i know can go out there to work mm -hmm. so we have we have seen much more women uh, into professional pro position uh, once upon a time when we spoke of a nurse mm -hmm. <coughs> we spoke of a female when we spoke of a doctor, you had a greater percentage of men as medical doctors. Right. Uh, today, you can almost say that it is almost on an equal playing field. Okay. Um, once upon a time, men alone would have driven a caterpillar, mm -hmm. heavy equipment. Today, we are seeing women driving buses. Right. So, so the, the, the narrative... So the disparity the dis there... It's is, is, is closed. Okay, good. Let, let's just drive the argument a little bit further, quickly. Um, but you would notice in recent times that young men are killing one, killing one another. Young men. Uh, if we look at the figures for this year alone, we would have seen that most of the uh, murders that took place occurred with men. I didn't hear any woman getting engaged in that activity. But, but, but let us look at the other side of it, though. Let us look at the other side of it. That might be so factual. But when we look at abuse, and, I, and, I, I, and I'm not ashamed to say that, when we look at abuse, for me, when I, 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 I look around, that I'm seeing more women abusing other women. Whether it's emotional, whether it's from work setting, whether it's from the birth, I have seen where more women have found themselves. So the physical abuse, you, you, you would hear men being involved and a higher percentage of men physical abuse to women, which we should never condone. And so when we then look at emotional stress and emotional um um 
disadvantages to women to mm-hmm. women or from to women sorry yeah it is more prevalent. women to is more prevalent from women, women to, to women. women okay in terms of we, we talk about emotional abuse and um we only leave it to the man the man has another girlfriend the man has you know what i'm saying okay but but it is it is in, in truth and in fact um in reference to looking at women cursing up each other right. women abusing each other verbally um creating more stress to other women so you find that for me okay. in my society where i've been okay i have seen women may not be happy that i'm saying that but, but that that's your view that's your point no of it's, view. Not, it's not a view it's take a reality some, take some time out and research take some time out and make a research all right well i would say for me um basically i found it very uh very uncomfortable for me in terms of men men they pass and as though men didn't exist as though i saw all the goodies for mother's day i seen every time there's a woman's day they're being highlighted and even my male managers and my male broadcasters in the media houses never took time really to pronounce a man's day which was just recently november the 19th it just seemed to have passed and nobody cared about it men if you look at why if you look at if you look the, at the difference between a man and a woman a woman a man get attracted to a woman by virtue of touch all right beauty a woman sees beauty from inside and uh, the woman will crave for that beauty inside and they look at character they look at mm-hmm. the necessary um the attitudes that you'll exhibit as a man a man would make a choice of a woman by the fact that physical beautiful woman mm-hmm. oh she's pretty you know what i'm saying uh, okay right so, so you find so that not, not pretty from within the emotion then. No, I not mean, pretty the, from she not might not be, because I heard the, another. The, the woman I, I heard a woman. I was at KFC and I heard a woman and I took offense to it. But look at so many ugly women in the place. And I had to say to the the, the woman, but no, she may not be pretty physically, but she may be pretty internally. Let, let's hear what that person has to say. Good evening to you, caller. Good evening. What's up, Brian? Good evening, my brother. Good evening. How are you? I good. I good. I good. Quick, quick point. Just what you were saying. Do you know? Um, um, I, I, I took a pick of that of that same um, um, um topic you were talking about. And um, do you know that last week? Last weekend, for that matter, that there was a rally by the girl guys, not men guys, or a girl guys association in the Maho area. And the topic of that rally was violence against women and and, and things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And then you do, do, do you know there was also a, a male figure? addressing that 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 rally no i didn't know who addressed it yeah i i, I saw a male figure addressing that rally. okay they didn't say gender-based violence they said violence against women right mm-hmm. and just as you are saying you know how many activities are, are going by you have um, um you have the Violence against disabled people. You have violence against you have you have matches for this and that, and not one topic recognizing yeah, me, recognizing me, men. Yeah, and that's a fact. We can't run away from it. No, no but that is true. And, and 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 I know there was one gentleman um, from our teacher, the SN Mr. Holmes. Who had this men something men, but that that must have fall fall right away side. But that fell apart, Mr. Holmes. You know that. that. Fell right away side. So uh, you know it, it, it's amazing, you know. I, I, 
Yes, I, I listened to you all earlier on. I, I wanted to call, but I just kept silent. You know, because, you know, as Cecil has Cecil said, you know, women nowadays are into every, every living child. I see over here, you have women who are qualified painters, contractors, you know, women heavy equipment operators, you know. So, you know, women, you know, and, and, and some people say, oh, we must not say about women taking over, but women taking over the world. You know, and the men, the men have been left aside, you know. It's, it's high time that some organizations, you know, <laughs> you know, um, 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 what brain, you know, you are one prominent young social figure that can take up this mantle and organize right. a men, a men, a men, <laughs> <laughs> A men program, you know. Right. Well, well, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I'm taking the opportunity, my good friend here, to highlight the significance yes, and yes, role so that are, are, men you, have you, to play within so the society. Right. You are so correct. And you know, everything you, have, everything you hear is about oh, so women, Mother's Day, yes. Okay, yeah, you, you can't you can doubt the fact there is Mother's Day. But Mother's Day, you have a big, it's a big time celebration, you know. Different ministers. Don't, don't, ministers don't, don't, don't forget. Don't, don't forget. Don't forget that even on Mother's Day there are men that are mothers. Eh? You have to well, understand. Oh, you have to understand. Yeah, the, yeah. You have to understand the value. A mother is not necessarily someone who has birth a child. Yeah. Birth a child. Right. I can understand that. I, can understand. I know. I, I know where I'm coming from. You know? Because there, there are men who father children, who father children like a mother. You know. Mm. You know. Because. Mm. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. My deceased wife died over what? Going to 11 years now. Okay? We had one daughter together. When my wife died, that child was still under my care. And that child is with me. She has birthed a, a child, I have a grandchild. And, and it, it's me, it's me that is around every everything yeah. you understand what i mean so, so you're, men, you're, men, men, men so, play yeah. a, a big role in in, in the up of, of of children yeah. and women and girl children besides girl children besides you know and i i yes i am a, a father and grandfather and i do right now your mother is out of state and i am the one taking care of, the, of my granddaughter you understand what i mean but I think, mean, you know, we mustn't throw this thing under the bridge. You know, men are not, period, men are not being recognized. You know, they're not being recognized. And um, that is why you see most of our young boys. You said something there a while ago. You know, women, women are asking nowadays, how, oh, where, and, and, and when are we going to, where am I going to get a young man to marry my daughter? Yeah, they're asking. I heard them myself. Yeah, they're asking that question. They're asking that question. And, and you know, it, it, I mean, it's not good at all. Not for our, our main society. You know, it's, it's not good at all. Thank you. 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 All right. Yeah, for a mother to be asking that, it means that the mother's making a choice for the child. No. <laughs> the thing about it is that we, we have brought it on ourselves as well. Because I've heard m m women socialize their children. And if a man has a child with a woman and he doesn't support uh, that child, yes. the woman puts in the child's head. That's the pressure. In the child that I have to work hard every day because your father he just had sex with me. He got me pregnant and he threw me under the bus. Therefore, your own son is developing a hatred for you as his father because the mother is socializing him into that behavior mm -hmm. of your irresponsibility in not maintaining him and therefore to maintain him she had to go with another man probably she doesn't like mm -hmm. just to get income to support him mm -hmm. or her mm -hmm. so your own children is being by the mother to hit their father because of the fact of not being there to assist them financially so you see how society works yes so therefore it's very important mm -hmm. that we, we we understand the whole perception 
of how the women are thinking about the men. Yes. Uh, and as we're saying that, though, um, this this evening I asked my my granddaughter who goes to a particular school about her MB, uh, about her SBA, and I asked her if she has she been given to do her SBA, and she said, Grandpa, yes. And I asked her, was the theme? And it was, it was most telling. And the theme basically goes around like this. The abuse of the L, B, G, T. That's what it is, L, B, G, T. What's that? Um, Lesbian and gay society? Yes. Talking about the abuse of these people. And I was most shocking. Mm -hmm. And I said that I, I think I would like to approach that school. Um, why would I want to know the English teacher? Why why that subject? Honestly, why that subject? Well, 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 well Cecil. When, when we have seen bullying in every form of society, wait, wait. we have just seen a young, a young lady being bullied and caused her death. Did you hear, didn't you hear um, on the streets... And I heard it yesterday that somebody came with this thing to tell me that uh, Mr. Skerritt had legislated homosexuality that, that in is, the that, country. That is foolishness. The person doesn't have no clue. Did, didn't you hear that? I don't think the person. So, so, so coming out of that, mm -hmm. Powell <coughs> on Facebook, mm -hmm. Powell all around you hearing mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that business about homosexuality and the legalization of homosexuality on the island. You didn't you hear that people are saying it's coming from the top? Didn't you hear that? Oh my God! I I wish I had something from um I had something from an organized from a, a, a news WP WPG. Um, I'm going to ask. So when when the teacher is within the classroom setting now setting up SB like that, don't you know that there's a big discussion going on within Dominica in terms of gay rights? Don't but, but, you know that a gentleman has applied to the courts, to the high court, for the right to engage in homosexuality? I, I think every citizen has a right to have his right protected. Yes? But we cannot be speaking about getting a man or a woman to have the same sex, to live together to do what a man and a woman are supposed to be doing together, um, it means that, that procreation will end. And we, those of us who do not believe in the issue, uh, because I want to find out what is, what is meant by gay rights. What, you, what are you telling me about gay rights? Are you saying to me that you want me to gay go, go to parliament and to say that a man should walk in rows with another woman? No, like gay rights is the ability of a man to have sex with another man or a woman to have sex with another woman. So and they I'm want to be able to do it in public I'm if necessary. I'm saying... Holding I'm hands, I, I, kissing I, I, on the streets and being able to get married. That's what I, it is I, I, all about. I, I, and I'm saying... We cannot hide it. And I'm saying that, that if any government in the region is to agree on that... I personally would say that I'm against it. And I cannot see um, my government, I cannot see the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica um, would endorse um, the issue of gay rights based on the terms and conditions that you're speaking about. I can understand for the protection, which is totally different from the rights. I can understand the protection of these people from violence well, but that's why the, that's why the sba came in you know so the, 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 the person is now the, the lecturer is now telling the child you know what it seems to me that the men the men and men who are having the affair we who are straight people want to molest them and beat them on the street you know good good evening to you Bumbaya in a body boy head you know good good evening good night big brother um i enjoy your guys show and i am enjoying the quarter of the show and you hit a important subject here for me okay about that gay rights i don't want to say thing the lbgtqrstu laws that um that is being forced on black nations okay number one that law should not even surface in dominica you want to know why 
Dominica has a very, very small don't don't call her don't say it like as if it is going to surface in Dominica. It is not surfaced. As a matter of fact, Dominica has not signed that agreement. So people who are thinking that way, I, I want them to know that what they are saying and the rumors that they are spreading is not a fact. Right. Okay. All right. So let's continue. Now America has a strategy on black countries where if you don't support that, they don't give you aid. Furthermore, America has pledged countless amounts of monies to certain countries, especially countries like Dominica, which they haven't delivered up to today. You understand me? So they should not want to come and force that on any country, especially a country like Dominica with a population that is so fragile. Dominica has a population per per square per square mile that is very small. Look at the size of Dominica. Look at the population of Dominica. Dominica is bigger than Barbados. Dominica is bigger than St. Vincent and Grenada put together. Dominica is bigger than Antigua. But yet we have the smallest population in the region. So what I'm saying, all right, if a man wants to choose that path, a woman wants to choose that path, let them keep it to themselves. Do not come and try to persuade another person in your lifestyle. I'm not sending anybody to hate any gay person. People grow up with people, and people are kind. People are, are nice with other people, no matter what side of the fence they are on, if you guys follow what I'm trying to say, right? So, for instance, you have some people that you meet, and you may not know um, their, their, their sexual orientation. But that person is a nice person. That person is a, a, a warm and kind person. But you will not know because they keep their lifestyle to themselves. Furthermore, right, we have people that practice these behavior because as I have seen even right here in Bridgeport, a, a heterosexual man and woman they have been shown on if they are kissing or making love on a bus or in public space. They might even put, um, put them as a sex, sex offender. But right now you have people of LBGT, whatever they call themselves today, where they literally demonstrating their behavior in public in front of little children, even going in schools, teaching children what it is for a, 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 how we call it, a gay man or a, a, a trans to, to model. Why they have to do that to young children? Because they are focusing, I don't want to really put it on that, but that's what it is. They are more focusing on us black folks, and they don't care because they are showing it in their own home. You have some racist white people that will shun gay people in their own home. But when they are there in parliament on the left wing, the right wing, which is the same bird, they will say to you, oh, I am for the LBG, LBGT, whatever you call it. But when they are home, they shun their own children for being gay. Guys, thank you for taking, for taking my call. Do not hate anyone. Love them the same. Anyway, have a good night, Brain. Have a good night, Cecil. God bless. Well, well, Cecil, I am very glad that you raised the issue in terms of an SPE being brought up within I, 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 within, I, within 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 the high school setting. I'm going. I'm going to go to school. <laughs> I mean, because because you see what, what we have done, what we have done thus far, right, my brother, is we allow our children. You see these cartoons. Do you see them not gay? You, you realize what they do in these cartoons? That men, they, men that kissing they, that they allow these colors of the gay and, and they're showing you two male animals kissing. But you don't see that. Nicely. But do, I don't see two men, two dogs kissing each other. No, I'm telling you, look at the cartoons. And, 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 and a lot of the cartoons, and that's why I want to tell parents, you should not leave your children unattended. 
don't think because it is cartoon that is not showing violence and and some of the things i told i have said to some people in reference to violence is because our children of the 80s when television started to come in we allowed them to watch roadrunner and mickey mouse and box bunny and we saw we saw quite a lot of violence in those in those in those in those Actually, cartoons so, yeah. and you would see box bunny get up and run again um even if when he get a, when he get a, gets a gunshot in those cartoons um and today what we are seeing that is happening in the cartoons is the buying of the minds and we, we feel okay that our child um is watching a cartoon unattended and so some of the first thing that we have to observe is that our, our boys want to find themselves always want to kiss another boy you know just just observe it and you have to break it right away and, and i believe that um we have to guard our society we, we if we say that we're a christian society there are some things that we should tell ourselves that we not accept that we should not accept so what are you intending to do about that that you are going to go to the school and say but why why no, i'm going to go to the why are you I'm having going to go to the particular school and as the principal that i meet with the english teacher to find out why why, why that subject why that subject there are so many things that we can talk about abuse there's so many things that we can talk about our beautiful country dominica there are so many things that we can talk about look at presently as we as we speak we see AI as the leading tool yeah, for to change our to change our society. Environment, yeah. So why can't we ask our children to to write SBAs on, on AI? Why why can't we not do that? Why can't we not ask our children how do we help to how do you think now how to develop Dominica for the next 10, 10 years, 15, right. 20 years? What is the plan? What is your plan? What do you think about the the international airport? No, let's what not, are the no, benefits? No, we, 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 are you going to have let's, an let's, SB on let's that? Not, let's not maybe... Or maybe you let, can... Let's go, not drag them... Let's not into, drag them into the issue oh, of the let me Let me put yeah. another an, another social issue. Mm -hmm. that one, one, what, what do you think about the impact of war what, the, on the society? Nice, ni nice, nice, because we have seen thus far every country of the world speaks of the impact of war to deal with that of force if you will to see that the driving the driving prices to see that inflation is 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 is, is crazy uh, uh to see that um we are seeing um shortages cut backs, mm -hmm. the cutbacks of, of 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 a number of services uh and, and we can go on the list can go on the list can continue going on so so why can't we not ask the children where they are seeing wars and they're hearing us as parents talking about the challenges that we are now encountering why do you want to tell my child to write an sba <laughs> on, on the abuse the, on the abuse of gay lesbian whatever organization you call it i, I mean come on i mean come uh, and on cecil, cecil let me let me ask you again so that the listening public can hear it what we are seeing on social media and people are talking about and i'm hearing them talk I and mean, i told them no that's not true at all but that's not a fact I, 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 and, and I'm going to ask that person to send me so that next week I can play the right. word give me life to send because me the, the document because the person say boy brain you, you can imagine Mr. Scarrett wants to bring Borgo in the country I, I mean this is just ignorance you know what I'm saying no, so, no but, but but you see these are the things that um, are being pushed out there in social media because of those issues that are being brought across which I know is not true it's not a fact why do we and, and they took that they took that from a prison Trinidad the priest in Trinidad was giving false information to the general public of the church. I, I can imagine now what the priest is telling the, 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 the general public about spirituality. I, I am now in the mindset to deny the priest of whatever he says is false. I can say that right now because I listened to Grenada's prime minister. And the Greenland Prime Minister said, I have not even read the document. So anybody that says that we are, I'm not for that. Ralph Gonzalez said the same thing. No, we are not into this thing. Dominic has not signed it. Antigua, the same thing. But that priest, that particular priest in Trinidad, as to the reason, and the Trinidad government has not done it either. So I want to find out from that Catholic priest, dressed in green, Dressed Why? in green? Dressed in green. Preaching to the church. And I wish that the bishop of that church 
someone that Catholic priest, have conversation with him, and find out why would he have made that statement to say that this agreement that is signed, he has not read the document, he has not seen the document, or he may have seen it, but he take it to mean that, hey, this will are asking us to sign this document to bring gay into our society. Don't do that. So what, what more spiritually that you're saying to me that is wrong? Let's go to the telephone. Good evening, caller. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. Good evening, caller. Good evening, brain. Hello. Hello, we're hearing you. Good evening, we're hearing you. Oh, okay. Brain, you raise a, 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 a concern about that group. And Cecil, as, a, as a, a, a member of staff that is supposed to be part of that organization, we need to investigate or to find out what become of carry men. We know there is nothing about that group, even with all the violence and the shooting that is going on. We know there is anything about carrymen. And then I have a member of staff. I do not know that member of staff. I, as a person, Mr. Dangle Ben. Oh, okay. I have to find a carrymen. Okay. So and I am saying it is rather shameful with all this gun violence that is going on that we know there is nothing from carrymen. Who is the president? Who is the vice president? And then. Many moons ago, the last I heard, they even brought out women on the, group, on the committee. Now, one time I asked the question, when was this committee elected? And somebody took issue with me for asking how did that committee came about? Who elected that committee? So, Brain, what's his name of Goodwill? That used to be the pastor of the, the, the Goodwill Church at one time. Which one? Um, pastor, what's his name now again? Bill Daniel? No, 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 no. Um, Father Martin? No, no, no. One of the, 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 the Protestant churches. He used to be a pastor. He was supposedly to be a pastor. But he was at one time was the president. Okay, well, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. But we can ask Stephen. Maybe he'll be able to help us. All right. And stuff. But we're not there in. Nothing about that organization. Now, the match on Saturday was violence against women and young children. The young boys or young men were not part of that, the, guy, the guides thing, because the guides are concerned about their ladies and the young people, mm -hmm. the young women, the young children. Okay. But you're not hearing anybody holding a match for young men. The young men are dying in their early 20s, their late 20s. They're they dying, and we're not hearing anybody speaking out as such. And the women are taking over because I guess the women are more aggressive in what they want to be. Some of them don't want to make more children because it's going to hold them back in their profession. And I'm fed up of hearing about Dominica population, about 60,000, 70,000 people. Since I 10 years I hear in that, I am past, way past that. I'm still here in 60, 70. I asked Cecil about how far is the census. Somebody took issue with me because I'm saying nobody has passed by my home to ask any information as to where we have covered some, the north area. So we are now heading to the east or we have covered the east, we are now heading west. Nothing, you're not hearing nothing on an update of the census. And we're still hearing 60 to 70,000 population. In this 21st century, we still is. Thank you, Cole. Have a good night. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Cole. Well, Cecil, I just think we have another 15 minutes. Are we? Okay, right. All right. right. I, I'm saying, I'm Cecil, I agree with you. You should want to find out why that topic at this point in time. But I, I, I suspect. Uh, is being driven by uh, the discussions that's happening within Dominica space and within the uh, within the my, my, my brother, my, my brother. Let me just tell you. So you could find my, out. My brother. Um, spirituality is spirituality. There's no difference between religion and spirituality. I agree. And and so, I hear some person say, I I. I I not religious, but I spiritual. If, <laughs> if you're not religious, you're not spiritual. You're not spiritual. There's a correlation. Right. There is a correlation between the both. All right. And so you cannot be a Catholic school. I mean, let off the cat from the bag. But you cannot be a Catholic school, and giving my grandchild that subject to deal with. For that child of mine to go and find out so many things about gay. And those gay people, they can give you information. 
And when they give you information for that grandchild of mine tomorrow morning to decide I can be gay, <laughs> my brother, procreation is important. <laughs> so, so you make me laugh. No pro procreation is important. It's I agree important. with you. Important. But you have you have to you have to stop it from the board because if he or she goes to do the research, you never know what the research may influence. Don't ask me for my children or my child. To come and stay with you and you have your nasty ways. How why should my child see two ladies or two men engaging getting, getting up in the morning, sleeping in the same bed and engaging in activity that a man and a woman are supposed to have? It's time we speak about it. It's time we tell them that they have to stop. And you're going to do that. I do not want to be the only one in the wilderness. <laughs> I am just saying that you're starting that, the ball that, rolling. That, that I have a voice and I'll make my voice be known. And to even tell me that a gay should be in front of a pulpit. The same way that we do not want women to be a priest. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we should not allow a gay to be a priest. I'm just using that. I'm not saying that it's actually happening. I'm saying that if we are saying that a woman cannot be a preacher, I'm also indicating that a gay should not be on the pulpit. A spiritual preacher. Okay. No one can, can can convince me. No one. God is so perfect. God is perfect. Even if amidst the sin, God is so perfect. You want to tell me, oh, that God give that boy um, genes of a woman? Hmm. Or veins <laughs> of a woman? Or God gave that woman, you adopt. But, but, but Cecil, here is a very interesting scenario. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we are waiting for a decision from the courts in relation to a Dominican man who applied to the courts for his, for his right to engage in gay activity? Do you know that? That the courts are waiting. They're waiting on a decision for him to have the right for him to live with another man and to engage in sexual behavior? But listen, that would not pass. You know why? You remember once upon a time, some years ago, two gay guys came from a ship? I remember that episode. And... Uh, they in Roseau and, and they were arrested and charged the same day. Same said day, they were arrested and charged at the courts. Okay. So the courts has references and for, and, and for the, the guys and them to lose their case, it means that our act, our laws, does not make provision for that. All right. So, so the guy can wait all his weights. <laughs> they, they can have you in suspense. You can go to all privy council you want. You can go to the Caribbean. No, no, okay. um, is, you can go to the Caribbean. Court of CCJ. <laughs> you can do whatever you so wish. Right. My brother, you will lose. Okay. You will lose. And my good friend up by my area y there. Your neighbor, man. My neighbor, you will your lose. Your neighbor, man. You will lose. You, is your neighbor, is your you see any person every day, man. You, you, you will lose. That individual came to me once and told me he wants to come on, on radio, my DBS radio. I tell him, not, he wants to. He I, wants tell him, I said to him. What did you say? I said, so. I said to him. Tell him nation. I said to him, I am not marginalizing you. But not but him. Once I am the manager of DBS radio. But the manager is your neighbor. That discussion will not ensue inside of DBS. You, do, want, you don't want that. Clear. I want to make it very clear. No gay person, no gay person. You can record, start recording me. Uh, I'm giving you five gonna make seconds. News. You're going to make news. One, two, three, four, five. One Cecil Alexander Joseph, who was born on the 18th of February, 1963, residing in Beaubois, who is now age 60. Once he is the manager of DBS Radio, no gay person must not have that gall, that guts, that, 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 that fortitude, that strength to come to the manager of DBS Radio 
and ask of me and to tell me oh it is the national radio station so he the wants job of the national radio station is to elevate promote your mission statement yes elevate promote educate and to give people balanced information i agree with you Celestia. so don't don't come no don't, don't make that mistake to even never make that mistake to ask you to ask me we bought you. never make that mistake Someone might ask me if a gay person comes to DBS ready to work, if I'll employ the person. If you go to the interview process and you have won, I have a right to allow you to work. But when you enter, don't practice there, there it. is also a right. There's also a right. There's mm -hmm. also there's also um the rule of You're law. Very strong on that. There is also the rule of law. And 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 and, and, mm -hmm. and I don't care. You can take me to it's court. Hot. It's hot tonight. Good evening to you, caller. It's hot. Good evening. Good evening to you, caller. Yes, I cannot help but I'm listening to you and I'm just laughing. I'm yes. laughing because I'm trying to understand. Um, you mentioned being the manager of the DBS radio, and I'm trying to understand and appreciate in 2023. Why is it so difficult for us to encourage a diverse, diverse, diversity of perspectives? My, my brother, why should we? Wait, when you wait, wait a while, wait, wait a while, wait a while, wait a while. What do you mean by that big English word, diversity? What do what you mean by that? Difference, different. That's all it is. Sexual different. orientation. Different perspective. If you allow me to make my point, I'll make my point. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be listening attentively. Because. We have to appreciate that the values that we expose are not necessarily the values of everybody. I agree. And if we live in and if we live in a democratic society as we say, shouldn't each individual have that right? I'll tell you, I will tell you. Uh, the, can uh, I, can I, can I finish? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, before can I forget I my point. Before I, before I forget my point. You are talking about democracy. Democracy is about the majority. And you cannot be a minority to tell me that you are in the majority. So go ahead, make your point. So you're telling me democracy is about the majority that's silencing what, the minority? That's what no, not silencing the majority minority. There are yeah, rules, there are rules, there are rules that the majority would make. No, but let me put it that way. The minority can have its say, but the majority will have its way. So we should do everything possible to keep the minority at bay, to stifle the perspectives of the minority. No, you can no, have your perspective. No, you have a right to have a perspective. perspective yeah, but, but you the don't majority have a right, must you have, have its way. But, you must ha but I must have my way as the majority. I am saying to you, my. But you're not the majority. Cecil, Cecil, huh? Cecil, hold on. Cecil, you're not, the, you're not the majority. You're just Cecil. No, 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 no. no. But, 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 but the gate, the, the, the gate. You're using the, your position as the manager of the DBS radio to prevent those who have a different perspective from gaining ground. But, but, gaining, gaining ground? ground. <laughs> <laughs> listen to the word you. Listen, <laughs> uh, are you a practicing lawyer? Gaining ground. Gaining, gaining ground. <laughs> gaining did, ground. Did you hear what you Fertilizing said? Fertilizing the behavior. Huh? You want he wants to fertilize the behavior. <laughs> you want to fertilize the behavior. We're nipping it in the border. <laughs> That's what you're doing. We're nipping it in the border. <laughs> That's what you're doing, or that what you would like to do? Yeah, we're Have nipping the, the. What are you nipping in the bud? Well, the di the, the divergent behavior which you you purported. I. That's what I did. I did that. <laughs> I, I, I did that. You, you, you tell me that's 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 what I did. <laughs> by by two of you sitting down, uh, being close-minded as you are. I am not. I'm a perspective. No, I am not. I, I, am, I am protecting. I'm protecting my society. I am protecting my society. You live if you live if you live if you live in a Westminster system, okay? If you are living in a federal system that is different from the Westminster system. You go according to the Westminster system, all right, in terms of governance. Now, if you live in a society that says that every person, according to them, that every person is equal and a man has a right to decide to love a man, that is your society. I'm saying to you, my society doesn't say that. And I have to protect that of my society. You, would I you see how beautiful that is. <laughs> I allow you to make your point. 
I allow you to make your point. Make yours, but, make but yours, make I'm yours. I've been listening to you guys for the entire night. Okay, and go ahead. Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We allow, go we allow ahead. you the courtesy. I just, I just no, we allow no, you the courtesy. I'm just going to continue to listen to you guys for your perspective. No, and talk. Went to, that's what you do. <laughs> talk, talk. Talk. He left uh, us. You left us? Right. Hello. He, he left us. He left us. Uh, no. But we cannot allow him to fertilize his attitude. Let me hear that. But, but Colossus say good evening to you, caller. Good evening, Cecil. Yes, good good evening. evening. And good evening, Brain. How are you, my brother? Good evening. I am very good. I am the following on you very well. And of course, I back in Cecil 100%. Go ahead. You support oh. this perspective, yeah, of you. Uh, yes, 100%. But even God, suspects, uh, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of that same business with fire and brimstone. Because when God created man, he created man. He said it was not good for the man to be alone. He did not make Adam and Steve or Eve and Evelyn. He made Adam and he made Eve for Adam. And the reason for sexual activities between a man and a woman is to be if is to be fruitful multiply and full the earth you have never seen a pregnant man walking or a woman and a woman a woman got another woman pregnant those things it is impossible to happen it's just denying god that's all they're trying to do to deny they're god denying god that is the enemies of god and servants of the devil and they are all on their way to hell and and roman said not only they, but all those that support them, when they fail to retain God in their knowledge, he gave them up to vile affection. He gave them up to a reprobate mind. He gave them up to defy their bodies among themselves. And he said, not only, and he said the only penalty is that they are worthy of death. And not only they, but all those that support them, they are worthy of death also. So when you try to put those things before your children and before the country and man i i walk in a room so the same guy we're talking about watching and tell you look at you and look at you all you did the lord said the lord said yes the lord said the lord said it is wrong for man to be with man it is wrong for woman to be with woman that's what the lord said so, so he meet, he meet you in Roso. one of the people and them meet you in Roso and give you new power yes the same, the same neighbor of says oh my so, god yeah so those things we should never allow that situation to happen to get out of hand yes. yes to get out of hand in dominica we must grab that now and stop it now and prevent it from coming now because they're going to pull you the country and when God started to pour on fire and bring so I don't want him to burn Dominica because of that nonsense. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank okay, you, Carla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boy, it's hot in here. Ah, uh, boy. Ah, uh, boy, it's <laughs> hot. <laughs> and I was saying to the caller, mm -hmm. I, I live in a society where we speak where we speak about right. Christianity. Christian. But you see how we bring big English? Procreativity. Some big English he used, you know, meaning he won the thing must go on. That's what he means. Good evening, caller. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, go Good evening. It's global warming. Hey, global. How are you? Going easy. The problem is, we must not call them people gay, people homosexual. This is what the Bible says. And we cannot call them happy boys. The fact is. This is a law they can never pass here. A court can only take certain decisions, but certain decisions they are left for the people to have a referendum. People don't have to make or nobody can force us as a country to swallow anything from anybody country. So it doesn't matter what I hear them talk about. But I heard the news last time on the base radio. And when they talk about the poopsy Allowing man and woman to raise children to marry and losing that is nonsense. And this is always the the the, the, the I'll tell you the Catholic Church. So we cannot go in them nonsense. All right, caller. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Yeah, but but you see, we have we have to be. 
You have to take a position. Yeah, you have to you have to really honestly take a position. And and some 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 of us we live in the metropolitan countries. Mm-hmm. Um with their tradition and their cultures and their habits. But it's not the same for us. Why can't we try to force them to do the things that we are doing? Why can't we get them to say, you know what, I love what Dominica is doing. Man for woman, woman for man. Mm-hmm. And so Let's promote the habits and the attitudes of of um, the behavior we grew up with, the behavior yeah. and the habits and, and the traditions, the traditions that we have. we have. Yeah, you have to hold values, you know. I I, I know tomorrow I might get I might get. Oh, you'll get, some, you'll get some. You'll get some. You get some. But you know what? Their words doesn't. Their words would not change your opinion. Change my opinion. All right. Their words will not change my opinion. Okay. Um, I'm I'm very very straight about that. Um. And and then people tell you that oh, um, if you have a child, what would you do? Mm-hmm. The truth the truth is, I will not abandon my child. But, but I heard. But, but I will continue telling that child. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, what you're doing is wrong. Right. But here 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 the big joke, Cecil. A, a certain prominent lawyer met me one day on the road and said <coughs> what is in a little hum- homosexuality now nah? well he must be homo the, the man meeting me knows so and the man tell it, a prominent fella what is in a little homosexuality now nah? but i said but 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 i find you out of order man what is that ab- about and so you have some people within the society with certain ulterior motives. And I agree with you, Cecil. I support you 100% on your position that you take. But you must stand by it. And I know you are. And I know you're going to get a lot of flack tomorrow. Man, anybody that give me flack, anybody that want to give me flack tomorrow morning, I will tell them straight that the only reason that you give me that flack is either one of two. You either one. You either one. Or you're not one. No, either you won or you have your political motives. I not in, no political motive in this one. Okay. I it, it's not about politics, it's about spirituality. And and, and 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 your values. Because when God created man, he said first that he created man in his own image. And after he made man, he said that man need a helper. He party by on om. On om, yeah. He party by on om. He by a fam. Take a rib from the man, and he did everything different. The glance, so everything. He, so he gave the woman a breast. Right. He gave her a vagina. Yeah. He gave a man a penis. Right. The glands are different. And they, and they our, be. our attitudes are different. Our habits are different. So what, what are you talking but, about? You, you trying to deny God? Right, well, let, the well, Creator of heaven and earth. Right. Well, Cecil, I want to make la- one last point before we go because time running out on us. Mm-hmm. I'm very happy um, <clears throat> in terms of the the climate summit that's t- going to take place. Oh, yes, uh, I'm very pleased. From the and some of the delegates have left already. I yes, think. I think it's going to start on the 29th. Yeah. To the 12th. Right. I hope yeah. that the the developing on the world. the 30th of November to the 12th. Right. I hope the developing world meet their commitment in terms of the. Um, greenhouse gases that's being emitted and I hope the Caribbean and the rest of the world take a position in terms of you know limiting or reducing the amount of greenhouse gas is in the atmosphere because we can see the effects in terms of the hurricanes we are getting are more frequent and they're much stronger and we're seeing what the rainfall even outside of hurricanes we have seen the environment and the natural disasters that are actually affecting the entire world. In t- yeah. So not just the Caribbean. The Caribbean, no. we can talk about hurricanes and earthquakes. In other countries, they're talking about tsunamis and they're talking about um, um, tornadoes and, and monsoons. Mm-hmm. So we are seeing it happening. We are seeing the frequency. We, we, no, we do not know when it's Kawem and when it's not Kawem. No, no. Unlike before, you know, in May, we have Kawem. No. We, we do not know that. Um, r- rainy season, we seen heat like joke. So yes, our, our ozone layer has to be protected. Yeah. And, the, and the, uh, the gases that we are 
and letting off in the in the environment uh, can help to deplete our our ozone layer. Yeah, yeah. So so we have to ensure um, brain. We have to ensure that our representatives, yes, who are going to go out there from the 40th of November <laughs> to the 12th, I think, of December, yes, at that um, EAU um, in Dubai, in Dubai, in Dubai, yes, Dubai. a meeting um, to deal with um, COT 28, yeah, yes, that we we have to ensure that our statement be, be heard and that our action be felt. Um, it's important that those international governments must stand and keep to their promises. Um, if you ask me, I think every year that there's this uh, meeting, that we should find ourselves present until we get what is required, of us. until the Caribbean get what is what is, what is of it, um, because we we know and we have seen the increased volumes of uh, actions of hurricanes. Um, Dominica had a Category Five. Yeah. Um, Barbuda, I think, had a Category. Um, four or right. three or and four. Not, not even that. Um, you had as well as recently the rains in um, in Santo Domingo mm -hmm. and Haiti. Uh -huh. Recently, recently, yeah. You know, a few years, about ten years ago, we had um, Katrina in in the United States. States yeah. uh, and, and so, um, when we also look at other parts of the world, um, in Japan, mm -hmm. I should say, in the Middle East, even in Libya, in in, in Libya, uh, we are seeing how natural disasters actually affecting um, those countries. These countries, yeah. And, and so, one of the things that I, that I realized that um, Guyana has gotten oil. Um, but it's creating a problem now but, between um, Venezuela and Guyana, eh? Yeah, I, yeah. But, but I hope they can solve but it. But I'm, I'm talking about the, the effects, you know, of, of the fossil fuel. Um, Guyana itself has a lot of natural resources, yeah. um, also water in abundance, like how we do. They have they have green space and they have green they have greenness, uh, so I I would maybe want to even call on the uh, guy in the government. I know that Exxon in, in, in from the United States is operating there. It's operating in in, in Guyana, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, they are there operating in the hope that um, they can piggyback piggyback on the um, resources of that of South America, which is in Guyana. But I hope they do it well, and um, hoping that. Um, if they are to do, well, no, they are doing it, that they do it well and, and try to get the environment to remain clean. And um, I, I really want to, to also admonish the guy in the government. Uh, who am I to say that? But I just want to, like, I would like to admonish the guy in the government that there's quite a lot of natural resources. So, um, water. So, you we need to now look at the issue of hydro in Guyana. Right. Um, they, they have much more waterfalls, huge waterfalls mm -hmm. and, and much more water in abundance because it's the, they are a huge country. Mm -hmm. and, and by virtue of that, um, that that government in Guyana can not only just look on the fossil fuel but look also on the natural side. Like how we do it in Dominica. Right, right. Dealing with um, geothermal. Right. And, and, and I think it's, it's important that um, Guyana itself, you know, do not just allow Exxon to, to they exploit its exploit resources. Exploit the resources that they have in, in natural in, in natural um, gas. So I, I think um, we in in the Caribbean we have a, a very good platform mm -hmm. that we can start our discussion and uh, make our discussion be known because um, we have to look at um, also the United Nations Development Program that that deals with. Um, that deals with some of its of its goals, yeah. and and by dealing with its goals, um, it's important that um, in those goals that we have to try to try try to achieve them. Dominica is already doing its best to uh, achieve it. We know some of the goals is to feed the hungry, uh, to deal with the issue of poverty, um, also to provide good health care to 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 people, um, and so we quality education so we in dominica uh, we have to ensure and also to empower women and girls uh, that deals with the issue of gender equality mm -hmm. 
um, fight against climate change, um, climate action. We need to do that because that's one of the major points that we have to, to look at and to, to look at the repeats and, and reuse um, renewable energy. Renew, re, renewable energy. Um, and so the, the global goals that we are in Dominica that are talking about, we need to ensure that we do it and we do it well, well um, so that we can get um, the necessary um, support from the international world. Um, and my final point here is on the issue of Domlek in terms of they putting on another 3.5 megawatts of energy on the grid at the end of this month. Am I correct? Which should be on stream? I, you are, you're very correct. Yeah. You're, you're so correct. that would help to alleviate. And one of the concerns at the press conference that the Prime Minister highlighted was the issue of, um, you know, being the PR in terms of informing the public as to the load shedding. He was not happy with the, the information they were presenting to the public. Mm -hmm. But I just saw some information in terms of the generator that was um, hired or rented or whatever coming on stream at the end of this month so by at least by wednesday thursday we should begin to see I, I some can, changes I, I can tell you that there are two units that are synchronized at, at, as we speak go ahead um so there are two um units that are synchronized um for the use of of electricity so um we dominic is actually working and working hard uh, to ensure that um we solve the issue of electricity in Dominica. Um, let us wait. We, we can only be hopeful um, that um, from the assistance given uh, to us is great news and that great news can only result in um, the lessening of um, load, shedding. load shedding. And, and I'm sure that um, Domlek uh, is doing what is required. The men and management of Domlek is doing what is required to ensure that we get closer to closer, uh, to the end and the beginning of of um, solving um, that problem that we have been seeing. Unfortunately, um, Brain, that just when um, Dominic saw um, a light at the tunnel, at, 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 at the tunnel so a, 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 a go wash, a shimia yeah, yeah. came down and damaged and one, the of hydro, one of the pipes. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, people tend to think it was because uh, Dominic. Uh, Let's leave that in peace, yeah. you know. Um, but things are things are coming think, on. Yeah, yeah. Things are coming on. So we should have um, a much brighter Christmas in terms of you know the load shedding situation mm -hmm. being reduced. Cecil, Next it was week. a pleasure being with you. I must tell you, I was very happy with Jamas. He had an excellent program. We had a nice program tonight and a little chit chat. I enjoyed it as well. So Dominicans, thank you for listening to me and uh, Cecil says final words. It was a pleasure being with you tonight. I look forward to next Sunday. Good evening. I just want to say good evening to the listeners of DBS Radio also and um, those of you all who stayed up with us and to listen to what we had to say, uh, those of you who called, I want to say thank you. And DBS Radio, the nation station, will continue giving you balance, accurate, and to ensure that we stand out to be the nation station and doing what is required for us to all stay focused and strong and to build our beautiful country, Dominica. That's why I say bye 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 to you. One love. Let's give thanks, give praise, and let's ensure that we continue serving our beautiful country, Dominica. That's why I say bye bye. God bless you. Love you. Class about menstruation. The whole shift in collective wisdom is something that is very fascinating for me and. I am so grateful to live this life where I could see this change happening. Everyone faces a bit of inconvenience during periods. So always help each other out and take care of each other. I definitely have wanted to have something like this when I was back in school because I remember male teachers walking out every time we had lessons on our bodies and also the boys in our class would always laugh when organizations would come in to tell us about menstruation and give us free sanitary pads. I can relate to that. Mm. I remember biology lessons learning about menstruation and those lessons happened two years too late. Most of the girls had already started mm. their periods mm. and most of the boys were laughing about it. Mm. So it's great to see what Menstrupedia is doing and how they're helping to shape the conversation around menstruation. But Lorna, there's so many other projects also trying to make a difference when it comes to period poverty. There are. 
An honourable mention to Solution Seekers, 